Expectables. We live in a society that is a simulation, but nonetheless, let's introduce our wonderful players today. We're joined by none other than the one, the only. Chicago got rid of him, but LA took him back. Edward Bosco. What? Hey, Kurt. Yeah. Do you value your life? Yes, very much then so. Shut the fuck up. Hi, guys. Oh, My no. Name is uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco via both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. And now I get to rebalance you your audio Instagram? again. Monty, where can they find you? Wait, Bosco has an Instagram? Do you? Yes. Yes. Just pictures of basketball have, are you all just time? after all of the intros we've done? You're just now having that click. I just kind of glazed over because I'm usually writing an intro and I haven't started <laughs> yet. So. Oh, that's so why I'm getting to you first. Where can they find you, Monty? Oh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can also find me at Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where I'm actually going to go back and stream things people enjoy. I'm sorry for playing so much Pokemon, but it's my it's my it's my drug and I like it. I already got two shinies. And but you enjoy it. it. Yeah, people I do. Don't, people don't enjoy Pokemon. What's this? I mean, it's just, there's more interesting games to play. But we're going to be doing Skies of Arcadia tomorrow. I don't give a shit about YouTube anymore. I want to play more. And I feel like if I just keep waiting, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to do more. So I'll do a recap when we play next time. But tomorrow, it's going to be Skies of Arcadia. We're going back on the pirate ship. We're going back to being good pirates. Uh, we're kind of near the tail end of the game. So we're going into content that I haven't seen in a game I've played like three times and never have beaten. Um, and then on Sundays, I don't know what to do anymore. So I'm probably might be dusting off, um, Monster Hunter, maybe potentially, or do something else. It comes out on PC on the 22nd. I know. You can hang out with. Well, I make. Huh? You cut out Connor. I can. Yeah. You can hang out. Yes. Yeah, you can hang out with me while I, I just do D and D stuff. Well, Connor, where is sure. that? They can find you. Oh, they can find that and so much more on twitch.tv slash distortion devil and on Twitter at senile snake, where when I'm not recovering from getting my uh, tooth yanked out of my face, uh, I do ring fit adventure uh, spread it throughout the week. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I uh, indulge in my vices and also play a lot of party games with a lot of my friends. Saturday is The Witcher, we're on Blood and Wine. And Sunday is where I do uh, D&D homebrew stuff, make a lot of weapons, subclasses, uh, characters translated into 5e, you name it. And that's my week. Hey, Connor, do you need our help looking for that tooth you lost? Oh, uh, no, I know where it is. Ah, okay. Good, 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 good. In hell. Oh, this no. This is going to be an interesting game tonight. Goomba. Goomba. Yes. Goomba. Where can they find you? What do you want? Oh, uh, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, MechWarrior 5 came out, and I wanted to throw my limp and lifeless body out a window after we got to the middle game because the AI is dumb as shit both ways. Oh, no. I might, I might be giving this, tr I might be trying a, just one more time, uh, a different route perhaps. But uh, Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central, we're doing all of the Shovel Knight shit that just released. Uh, oh, the King Knight, the King Knight stuff that came out, and I really want to play the uh, the Smash Bros. looking game because that Get looks. Get me in on that. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, other than that, uh, Taiko Tuesday every Tuesday, the Expand Dawn Emote is live. Uh, if you want to show that off in chat real quick, I'm very proud of it. Uh, Citra King made it. I love that guy. Commission him all of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's me. Well said. Well said. Hey, hey, Zito. Hey. Where can I find you, baby? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where uh, we just finished TFS at the table yesterday. So I have a lot of D&D &D stuff that I want to get out, especially uh, this brand new thing. Guess what? Hot spoilers and hot takes. This is the most fucking generic and watered down homebrew I've ever made, but I'm very, st I'm still proud of it. Do you want to play a cold ice based warlock? Check it out. The Great Cold has been released on DMs Guild. Uh... You can also find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, where you can find me playing indie games. I'm going to get back into that circuit and uh, work on some more homebrew because people like that shit. Hell, yes. I, I just want to I just want to say I love the fact that you made an elf practice meme in that. Oh, you, no, listen, I said like, a joke, and then one of my mods came back to me and painted it. And I'm like, OK, how much do you want for it? Nah, Merry Christmas. Put it in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. That's good. 
Uh, you can find me here, though, at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. Uh, the streams, they're going to get a little bit lo-fi-y. Some ASMR radio. There's going to be a lot of that during the Christmas holidays. Before I travel up north, however, on next Thursday, not tomorrow, but next Thursday, will be our Go Home Christmas pay-per-view, which has five tentative names. Jingle Brawl, Decking the Halls, Kissing the Mistletoe, Felice Nava Dead, and Holly Brawly Christmas. Now, I folks. I like the first one. Thank you. I like the first two. There we go. I like Holly Brawly Christmas, but that's just because it's got a little ring to it. Mm. It's a Holly Brawly kiss. There we go. Kissmas. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you this right now as well. Tomorrow will be the Go Home Show, and you won't believe it because we have a massive announcement about the title situation. And also, I wasn't at Elf Practice because I was busy. Thank you for asking, though, guys. Um, you can find me here as well. Can, um, can, we, can we announce what we're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I even oh. get into bits, before we even get into bits, I, now, now, no Wait. one interrupt Monty, and I'm telling that to of myself course. as well. No one interrupt. All right. <laughs> All right. So, right. chat, um, because it is the lovely holiday season, people have a lot of uh, loved ones either Boys, coming to their homes or they're, or they're traveling to homes. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Zito will not be with us next week. And I don't want to continue the Unexpectables without him. So I've decided impromptu because I've been learning this system because I want to teach children how to run tabletop games. We're going to be doing a My Little Pony Tales of Equestria <laughs> pony one shot. No, 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 no. Explain to them what we have to do. <laughs> they have to make pony OC. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! So yeah. the, the actual... The actual stream, if I have my way, the, because the game, the game is so simple, because the system is stupid simple, we're going to not only be running the game, but also before we run the game, we're going to make people's characters, which will involve <laughs> picking your type of pony, whether it's an earth pony, a, a pegasus or a unicorn, their special cutie mark talent, and other things. So it's going to be... It's going to be an experience. Next um, Wednesday! That is going to be on the 18th, so if you want to, it's going to be, uh, it sounds like it's going to be uh, Connor, Bosco, uh, Gaijin, and my brother, so hit us up for that. Yeah, um, sorry guys, mom's going to be coming. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 tone, no the tone shift for, you know, guys, <laughs> Bosco, Connor, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's family. <laughs> it's, yeah. You got to get them, so that. Um, obviously 25th, we're not going to have an episode. Merry Christmas, you guys, uh, or whatever celebration you guys celebrate. Um, we won't be having an episode, so be sure to keep warm and have fun and drink lots of eggnog. Unless you're, you know, you have some sort of, you can't drink eggnog because you're lactose intolerant. And for that, I don't know, eat, eat hazelnut. I don't know. Um, but after that, on the 1st, uh, Gaijin Goomba will be leaving us because apparently we're not allowed to have friends. Hey, it's um, Magnus. It's once a year. It is, yeah. So there will be potentially a one-shot, and it sounds like it's going to be something completely new that's going to be just kind of a little one-off, little fun thing to do. So Yay. I'll hit you guys up for that. You guys will see information about that probably on the official Twitter. So keep your eyes. If you haven't followed the official Twitter, definitely take a look at it. You see lots of fan art and information and stuff like that. But hope you guys are excited. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to need my book back for my friend Heartsy because he took my pony book, and I need oh. that now. Star, by and the I way, I want to point out that Star Pirates, in the, Star Pirates in the chat right now. I guess I'm making pony OCs again. Time is a flat circle. Back we, back we go, friends. Back to the, <laughs> the dark. You know, the last My Little Pony convention happened. Now's the time to strike. Strike while the iron is not quite under my the blacksmith yet. I mean, you honestly, my like, I, I know... I know we got to get started, but legitimately, my friends went to like the last BronyCon, and they said it was probably the best run convention they've ever been to. Mm. Huh. Mm -hmm. They yeah, actually so... had a thing. They had a thing which was amazing with tags, like with your with your badge, where you had you had like a yellow, red, and uh, yellow, red, and green one. Which basically, whatever color you had on your badge was like like if you're green, it's like yeah, you can come up and talk to me about whatever. Yellow is like don't talk to me unless I talk to you, and then like red is just don't talk to me at all. So it's like it was a really cool system because there's a lot of people who you know had social social sort of problems anxiety. that got really overwhelmed. They, 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 social yeah. anxiety. It's fine. So, no, 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 it's, so don't it's need to miss words about cool. it. Super cool. I was like, super. That's super cool. BronyCon, Pony Convention. 
You are right. That's really dope. Cartoon horse convention. That is that is oh. that is legitimately super dope, and I wish more events did that because some people just aren't into that. Uh, hell, I'm a massive extrovert, and I so many people I know just when I go outside and meet people. Oh no, no, <laughs> no! I don't want to do that. But no. All right. So yes, as of next Wednesday at seven o'clock PST, we making pony OCs, everybody. So buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> Literally, buckle up, bucks. Wait, you ye fuck. I, I can't call myself the last yeehaw, can I? Is that allowed? Oh, oh okay. God, we'll be this one. <laughs> you yeed your last <laughs> haw. Alrighty, I have so many people I have to thank. I'm going to go through the subs first, guys. Uh, Monty, continue on working on what you're working on here. I will take yeah. care of this next stage. Alright, uh -um. ah, drop me a beat, Connor. That's what I'm talking about. Six Tails, <laughs> Tiny Behemoth, Clown Captain, Trainer Shoshiro, Bardix is Smooth Enigma, I am Wonder Mike 33, Roto Ryu, Leo Knight Asso 1, Sky Blaze 71325, Yuki Usagi, Ron 1 Blue, Console Mutton Queen, Elfie 1, Meatbag 187, Cartoon Kitsune, Mech God, the Tobs gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you, the Tobs. White Cory in the house. All red three two nine, K Keyblade four K Keyblade no 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 it's not Beyblade it's Keyblade Forger ninety six James Rochelle David Zetavold Action Bastard forty two, Forax one Cage forty two Adult Thought Pocket, <laughs> Kemp for ninety seven. Bat Turtle 1, 2, 3. Script Daddy gifting us up to Star Pirate Art. Thank you, Script Daddy Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Armored Owl. RPG Russian 96. Tarek is Kizdan. Retro Royal Knight. Script Daddy gifting us up to One Darko Draco. Uh, Trelter Skelter. Script Daddy gifting us up to Psycho Wolf Girl. Fabulous Gay Bear. Neo Monkey Man. Hi. Inferno Uwu. Kitty Jaws. And Taurus 4. And an acceptable name. Thank you all for the subs. Now, let's go through these bits. Pyrotherian, if your cutie mark isn't a wrestling belt, I will be so disappointed, Taka. <laughs> you, you got... Don't, don't you worry about it, Pyrotherian. Don't you worry about it. I, I, got him. I, God, I already got you. I already got you. Pyrotherian with 2,000 wins. I cannot wait to see how miserable Pony, Sco get, Pony Bosco gets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there for just Pony Bosco, Pyrotherian the says. I suggested it, Bosco went, no! <laughs> like... <laughs> He was very upset. Uh, Storyteller Press with 100 bits. Happy belated birthday to the all frother Arkov. Seriously, big shout out to community member and voice of Doros, Arkov, as it was his birthday. Oh, nice. Doros' oh, birthday? Happy birthday. New uh, yeah. dude. <laughs> Get that man a pineapple so it can both perplex him but also be delicious. Delona Thursday, thank you so much for the sub, Pyrotherian. Thank you for the 2,000 bits. Queen Elfie won with 2,000 bits as well. Sitting here with her popcorn waiting for her favorite tavern keepers. 2,000 bits from Queen Elfie won. Well, we will keep you waiting only so long. Pearl Drama 339 with a 500 bits. I played that system before. I actually quite well and fun. Can't wait to see which one of you becomes an, an Alec. A unicorn princess, 500 bits. Yuki oh, Usagi, thank you so much for the bits. Cryptic Sajin, thank you for the bits. Scriptable Mutton with the 500 bits. Why have you unleashed this evil? Borax, one and cage, two. Thank you so much. Adult thought pocket always gets me. Script Daddy, Daddy, oh, Daddy, with the 1500 bits. Turning 31 this Saturday. Just wanted to wish you all well and thank you for all the amazing content here and on your individual channels. I love you all. I'm sorry, Monty, you are doing what now? <laughs> Halfway through that bit drop, you announced, you made your announcement, and it changed everything. Yeah, did we get my negative money? I'm sorry. Robate with a thousand <laughs> bits. Uh, give me five more minutes. Gotta grab stuff from the gift shop in my hotel. That's right. Probates it. Probates at Disneyland. Oh jeez. Or Disney World. I can't quite forget. I forget what which Disney he at, but he at one of the Disney. But Zane at 250, Zito with a thousand bits. Zito has inspired me to make a lizard folk ranger. How would you guys play a lizard folk? 1,000 bits? Give him I a gun that. and a machete. Nice. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Again, Daisy Head with 1,400 bits. Oh, man. Christmas is on Wednesday. Can't wait for the unexpected Christmas special. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Daisy <laughs> Head 1,400 <laughs> bits. If I, wait a made you guys, if I made you guys do the unexpected on Christmas, you have all right to just take You're a Scrooge. Bucks. Script Daddy getting a sub I'm to awful. Zito. Hey, it, Hello. Oh my lord. But hey, Blackfoot Ferret! You're up! It's got, guys, can we all do it's over 9,000, do you think, for Blackfoot okay. Ferret? For her? Uh, All right, okay. I mean, a one, so. two, 
three. It's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? There's no way that can be right. It's me, everybody. It's me, Ghost Nap. Someone in chat just said, "What if Connor's pony OC is just Geralt?" <laughs> no, my pony OC is my pony OC. We've already established my pony uh -huh. OC is Pony Pony. He's he's a master of disguise with it with uh, imposter syndrome. Well, Bick Narn, I'm glad to hear that, Bick Narn. Thank you so much. Uh, guys, we're going to keep on rolling here. We got a lot of bits here. Pearl Toss, one of three. Ed, thank you so much for the subs uh, and for the bits as well. Blue Super Blue Hedgehog, 503 bits. Won't be able to sub drop after the holidays. Here, take them. Ah, Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you. I can't wait for your movie. Marcus Atera with the 1500 bits. My DM led us into a kobold village today, and I let my guard down, trying to make nice. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. But now is the time for the <laughs> unexpectables. Marcus Atera with the 1500 bits, thank you so much. Oh, God, Octopip is here. What? Thank you, Script Daddy, yeah, for gifting a sub to Octopip. My lord in heaven, I have to thank all the people who were dropping bits and subs while I was calling out bits and subs. B. Kimball, 1993, DeLuna13, Master, Monster, Name, Garibaldi Fish. Script Daddy, give you a sub to Zito. The Goblin Review, thank you for the sub. Javon456, the Goblin of Unmaking. Script Daddy, gifting a sub to Lanny Pator and Octopip. Script Daddy, Daddy, oh, Daddy, being so kind. And Gilded Dragon with a thousand bits. First, I get to hear the voice actor of Sonic play on My Little Pony campaign. And now the Unexpectables. Pray, Celestia. Get him out of here. Get him Roger out. Was, get him Roger out. A, Roger was in an MLP game? Gilded Dragon, we got to get him out of here, guys. Get him out. Ooh. Uh, the voice, the voice of... The voice of Sonic the Hedgehog and Chris Redfield. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's true. Sonic was smuggling ripe watermelons under his arms the entire time. I believe <laughs> that is... And punching boulders. You can't silence... Uh, Gilder Dragon says we can't silence him, so let's silence him. What, uh, no. No, no, let's do it. Let's shut him down. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, is that... Are you good to go? Do you need more time, Auntie? Uh, you have, I'll give you two more minutes. I just gotta finish. I would that, like to so. thank, uh, Star Pirate Art in the chat for joining us. You, of course, know her as the wonderful, uh, goat-legged <laughs> Rivy. Uh, Script Daddy gifting a sub to God himself. Whoa. Man, I know, <laughs> I know, right? That's, uh, Script Daddy coming out with the big subs, big drops. Q from Star Trek is also in My Little Pony. Oh, we're aware. I am very well oh, aware. Oh, yeah, we know that. Oh, no, no, we, 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 we've been near the internet. We, uh, we know what's up. We know what's up. Uh, I am also, I want to thank, I, I also want to thank uh, our wonderful friend Bosco for joining us here. I know he's very busy. Bosco just came back from a convention. Well, he's a popular guy. And, all right. He's been a busy boy lately. He's been a very busy boy as well. You, can you sign my basketball, Mr. Bosco? No. Mr. Bosco. <laughs> can you sign my Chicago? No. Can you sign my jersey? Will you sign my deep dish? <laughs> See, you joke, but Boston's gonna get me back on my roast to the point where I will spawn to the level I will spontaneously combust in that chair. I will just <laughs> sign my Illinois. <laughs> I am ready to start. Again. Oh, okay, get us out of here. I don't know if Bosco's mad or just playing it up now at this point. <laughs> <laughs> we crossed the line a ways back. And I'm scared I to. Like, I feel like I feel like we lost in the moment. Even the word pony crossed my lips. A little. So. It's okay. We can get back, guys. I left a I left a bread trail. Oh fuck! Who ate the bread? Wait a minute. Who ate the bread? Called, is there a character called Al Capone in My Little Pony? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's I, fucking, that's I think that's a throwaway gag, yes. <laughs> ah, beans. Well, there goes that idea. <laughs> Defective sheep thing with a 500 bits. I recently played a Warhammer 40k Chaos, a starty with one shot with a few IRL friends last week. I kamikaze nuke Sanguinius in a dream. And now we're off to fight. <laughs> we're off to fight a custom Chaos God I made, representing innocence. Ooh, that's... Mm. How is it, innocence chaotic? Innocence! It, it just plays that song nonstop. Have you trying to fight seen... it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Zito, have you not seen babies? What? Are... <laughs> Baby oh, fights? Mind. Like babies that have been born? Or like, you're gonna be very We gotta do something. Ready. There's only one yeah, way to I defeat the chaos far. gods. Babies. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Wouldn't right, that be crazy, yeah, well, we, Dude, we've all, we, dude, we have all seen the hey. dark, we've all seen the, we've all seen the dark angels. We don't need to see them anymore. Sorry, Kurt. 
Too many C names in this channel. I hate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I already know he's gonna call him Capone. I don't know. Fuck you. All right, all right. <clears throat> Let's get to playing this okay. tabletop game. Play this game. <laughs> When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Tass the Cobalt Ranger, and the Royal Blue Birdman Group, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Hell yeah. the party has begun an intense investigation on behalf of Bork Bronzefang. The Avon clergy has detected that Yugalos have invaded the intricate political landscape of Alabast and are orchestrating strange attacks, erratic assassinations, and information collecting. Putting them under city arrest, sort of, the party has now been charged to investigate this invasion, along with Kay, the Avon anti-mage, to bring down these fiendish influences. After scouring through the high district, the party met with Barnaby Black, a demon hunter. After speaking with Barnaby, he passed on a job he got from the Romansion to look into some strange happenings and an even more gruesome murder. After making their way through the city to head to the Romansion, the party was ambushed by a large and massive fiendish assassin, who had all intentions of murdering Kay in the city streets. After dispatching the killer, the party made their way home with the guard's escort. The Romansion still uninvestigating. The Romansion still uninvestigated, and now all the more a potential lead. So, uh, before we head out for the night, Kay just wants to know if you guys want her to prepare any spells. She's got a decent selection, but she just wants to know what sort of thing you would prefer her to have. She's going to keep all her anti-magic stuff. She needs to. But she's she needs to wrap herself in one piece bandages stat. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Healing and dispel. She needs she, need, right. she needs a lot of buffs. Probably a lot of, a lot of shield. Okay, so keep yeah, shields buffing on. Spells. Buffing spells. All right, easy enough. Okay, that's pretty much basically what she already had switched over. So, yeah. all right, good, good to do. All right, uh, so she prepares. Everyone, you get your long rest. I would like all four of you to make perception check. Okay, we'll not make this because she has the flaw of being a heavy sleeper. She sleeps very heavily. That's Someone 16. Is safe. Perception. Kablam. 17 from Borky. Nice. Yeah. Uh, 18 for me. One for the road. It's going to be a ooh, 12. Ooh. 12. Mm. Okay, Remy? Oh, you said four. Okay, I'll do it. Twenty-three. Jesus. Nice. Wait, you're not, wait, you're not staying at the. You're not staying at. The... I'm not there. That's why I didn't roll it. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Remy has his okay. own house. That matches with task. All right, task. You're the only one who hears this. Uh, you hear a door open and close in the night, uh, from outside of your bedroom door. Uh, it sounds like it's Willow's door. Um. Okay. And you, well. And you hear some heavy footfalls. Dun, 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 dun. Going down the stairs, not at a very quick pace, but pretty slow. I want to roll stealth to keep keep up with whatever it is. Okay, uh, roll a stealth check for me. Twenty-five. Got a good roll before, but a shitty roll after. Uh, you stealth and you kind of sneak down the stairs. Uh, you follow the sound of the footsteps to like the main tavern area. Uh, and as you kind of peer on the corner, roll, 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 actually, you have advanced dark vision. You don't need to yes. roll anything. Uh, you see Doros currently standing. He's got his claymore out in one hand, and he's currently got a candle in the other, and it's just kind of looking around the tavern at the moment. Just kind of like walking and just kind of looking underneath tables and just kind of moving around. His eyes kind of like narrowing here and there, just looking around. I take one of the beer coasters and I chuck it at his head. Okay, roll to hit him. With this is an improvised weapon, so just roll a d20, add your dexterity modifier. I'm not really trying to hit him. I'm just trying to get his attention. Non-lethal coaster. Wanna... Yeah, non-lethal coaster. Okay, plus Fuck. for the four plus... plus my dex, which is five, so nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, you you throw it. You're like, eh. and it does that thing. You know, in paper, you throw paper and it just kind of like flips forward and goes straight down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes. You're like, eh, and it. <laughs> lands on the ground and immediately Doris whips around and points the sword towards you and like almost like drops the candle and just surprise and sees you. Tash, and just goes, holds, Tash just holds his finger up to his mouth like shh. <sighs> I, I, kinda, I, I motion him to come towards me. He kind of takes one little final glance around the tavern and walks up to you. Sword's still in his hand. He's not wearing his armor. He's just wearing kind of like simple linens but just kind of walks up to you. What was the problem? 
he just kind of does a motion of just kind of like his finger just kind of like looking around like doing a perimeter you feel the feel Yugalots might be here kind of leans his head side to side kind of like so so roll a I'm gonna say either Arcana or Religion of your choice uh both are garbage so hooray hooray I have a zero in both of these things so I'll do Pick Arcana instead Two. Oh. Two. Goliath must have, must have a second sense to sense demons. That's why they're so tall. Well, I mean, the man <laughs> is a fucking cleric. <laughs> kind of looks around. Kind of walks by you and just kind of gives you a nice little, little pat on the head. And then, boom, 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 heads up the stairs and opens the door. And you kind of hear a voice coming inside. Like, just you're like, Charles, and just <clears throat> closes the door behind him. Before I go upstairs... I want to check outside. Okay. Uh, roll, roll a perception check when I we get to the front door. Are you looking out the window? Are you opening the door? No, I'm opening the door. You open the door? Okay. <laughs> open up the door. 25. You see Naragan turn to Louis Rogan, and then she said to me, no one's ever said that to me before. And I was like, really? That's terrible. I mean, I thought a rose was so, you know, kind of cliche, but she really seemed to like it. And Louis Strong is just like leaning up against his war pick, like. <sighs> Tash shuts the door, like, like just a bump, just a bump enough for them to get their attention. That's great, God. Oh. That's great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just imagining that. That's great, dude. I wish I could love. <laughs> just like, oh, for fuck's sake! I want to uh, know as, what love is! As you look past your guards, the city's empty. Like, you don't see anything. Um, you do bump the door, and you immediately, Naragan <laughs> turns around, puts his hand on the scimitar, and goes, Task? We might have a problem. Uh, what sort of problem? The demon kind. Doros might not, uh, Demus. Uh, oh, God. Demus. Uh. Uh, Doros believes that there might be something skulking around the bar. Um, I we could take a look, but I, are you okay to watch the front door? And Lucia goes, "Yeah, maybe we should split. You go in the back, and I stay in the front." Just kind of nod and split up. Uh, as Narogan kind of heads through, Lucia kind of turns and goes, "I know you just recently hired some new employees, but it might not hurt to have more guards now that the place has gotten a bit bigger." Not that I am criticizing, I just, you know, it doors, and I'm going to stop talking now. No. Th there was nothing taken ill of that. That's actually a wise idea. We'll keep an eye out. If anything happens, we'll uh, raise the alarm. Yes, thank you. And I'll take that into consideration. Task will assist Aragon in trying to find anything. All right, just roll an investigation check. Cool. God, 11. He rolled actually pretty well. He rolled a soft 20. Uh, but you guys you guys are pretty thorough. You walk through a majority of your, like the tavern, even the spots that have just started to become built. Uh, you walk past like the workshop and you see uh, Iggy like sleeping in a hammock that's kind of tied between two posts. And you see just this amorphous mass, which you assume is on a bed that's fluffy. Um, and you just like as as it kind of rolls over, you see like a, like a single skinny arm leaning out, which is probably skinny. <laughs> so so immediately at first it was like, why is the bearskin run rug moving? Oh wait, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> wait a beyond, minute. Beyond that, you assume all your employees are are sleeping. They're all in their own private rooms, and it's probably not the best idea to open up those doors. No, um, of course not. But eventually, it called, the entire time, Rog is like, did you know they make perfume for, for our, you know, like Dragonborn and Kobolds and such? Like, just kind of does small talk. I'll, I'll, I'll engage him in small talk. How is that possible? I don't know. It comes from some sort of jungle flower from the Tatalon jungle. I'm looking into it. It sounds rather fun. I don't want jungle. That... Keep, keep, just fucking get in on that. Yeah. Hell yeah. He'll look into it for you. You head upstairs, you go back to sleep, and you complete your rest there. Okay. A little bit of activity. You get your full your full night. This is kind of happens at the tail end of the night. No, that's fair, but you know it doesn't hurt to be fucking thorough. No, it does not. And as the morning arises, so do you. As you guys wake up in the morning. <sighs> it's time to get okay. It's time to get bulky. Oh, I get my sword and run for the prayer. 
<laughs> no, Borky, uh, Borky kisses uh, Ronfalt, the hilt of Ronfalt, uh, Gripples, Tubbs, just all the weird things he's collected. Gives him a good morning kiss. If a sword could blush. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a shot. He's, good morning, Louis know. Strong. Sorry, good morning, <laughs> Flanko. Good morning, Ron Fault. Good morning, gr Gripples. Good oh, morning, Tubbs. Okay. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Armour. It is well made. Good morning, being alive. And Bork just looks around his room for a moment and goes, Good morning, Yugaloth. Just waits. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Borky opens up the door. All right, you walk out. Uh, Greckles, as you wake up to run out with your prayer, already Kay is awake and is like going through her 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 spell book at the moment. Uh, as you head out the door, she stops. She goes, "Wait a minute, hold on." Oh, geez, Kay, what is it? Quick question: Do you have a uh, illusion spell better than minor illusion? Uh, yeah. Keep that on you. I have an idea, but just Ooh. for later. Just. Go go do your thing. How do you spell this? And she goes back to her paperwork. Can I can I look in to see what her paperwork is, or does it matter? Sure, absolutely. So, that'd be investigation. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. No, actually, perception, perception check. Oh oh oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Nat twenty. Oh, so that's mm, 20. Delicious. You see Amazing. that not only has she have does she have notes, she actually has a diagram of the creature who attacked you yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's pointing out specific you know, physicalities with it that she can kind of remember. She was pretty close to it. You know, things like, you know, the the face, the the bow, like the, the not the bow, the crossbow, the knife, specifically what the bolts did, like mm -hmm. what she knows about it and like its description to fulfill a, a probably a report of some kind. Uh, it seems to be a match with a drawing that Skulk did as well. That's just kind of the initial one and she's just kind of working off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also notes about what spell she's going to take today and like, of course, what you guys were doing all night and just doing her job. Cool. By the way, yeah, we have we have it now. Thank you, Citric King, for doing this. I asked for a colored headshot, but he kind of went crazy because apparently oh. he had art for her that he never finished. So here's some art of K. Here's official art for K. And uh, please, Neat. oh my, oh, please, oh, please, yeah. please describe her. Oh, I did see. I saw the outline of this. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Describe her for the uh, wonderful podcast audience we have. So she wears a set of Avon kind of robes, very, very refined, very nice looking. Um, and she has kind of a hood over. She's kind of got like dirty blonde hair, kind of comes down. She doesn't really make it look nice. She's kind of like lets it do its thing. Uh, she's got a very, very nice spell book, uh, belt at her waist, two kind of like leather hand bracers that she has, and just generally chill, chill sort of disposition. Definitely, definitely knows the grindstone. I, li I like her nonplussed face. Yep. She is human, by the way. I don't know if I ever specified that, but she is human. So. Mm. Okay, sweet. Yep. Freaking out. Uh, cool. Is, just everyone... is everyone down here? I assume uh, you guys go through your morning stuff and then you guys yeah, head yeah. down unless there's any deviation from that. But I assume you guys head down. Ty Borpington serves you up a delicious breakfast, a farmer skillet of, of hashed up potato with no. egg, uh. and sausages and peppers and onions and all sorts of different things. There's even like little squares of cheese that are melting and kind of making the whole thing all melty and delicious. Ooh. God and fucking. Big... Next thing you add and hollandaise sauce. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Pour it right into my veins. I actually had one thing I wanted to uh, ask if. Sure, absolutely. I'll, I'll I'll say it in my head. I'll just like that thing yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like that, or do you have any possible idea of what that might be? As you head down the stairs. Yeah. This is really, I'm so sorry about if being like this, but that's the way it is. <laughs> no, that's fine. <clears throat> if says same phone, who this? <laughs> that's the way the news goes. Execute, exactly. Exterminate, excavate. Known, knowns. No, not, no. Hmm. All right. And then I will join my comrades for breakfast. Monty, is it bad that I'm just expecting you to go hoomstuff in one of these one of these uh <laughs> You know moments? it's going to happen one of these days. It's going to so. happen and it's going to be amazing. 
Cat better go eat. Anyway, you guys all head downstairs and sit down for breakfast. And after about uh, ten minutes or so, Kay eventually joins you. Uh, I will remind. I will tell my allies about what happened last night. Uh, a little, a little event occurred last night, gentlemen. Oh Something God might... damn it! I knew it. Who did it kill? There was no death. There was no bloodshed. Oof. Doros sensed that there was possibly some kind of demon incursion within the building. Me, Nuragan, and Nulistrog had a little bit of a perimeter check before I returned back to sleep. Nulistrog had a very apt idea. We probably should hire some more security. I mean, we're not lacking on security, but I agree. I, for one, like doing interviews. Could, I mean, we've we've hung out with with paladins a lot in the past. Could I possibly do religion uh, check? Yeah. You guys know about paladins, but you've not you've never trained to be paladins. So you kind of have an idea of what paladins do, but you don't know exactly what they do. Like we did, we did we did travel with uh, Digsby. without mm -hmm. without, a, without a check. Would we know that they can sort of sense these things? I'd say, yeah, I'd say all of you would would have a general idea that they, they have, like, kind of similar to what Task kind of has. They have a, a good sense for that. You also know that, that Doros was in the council chamber and did do a divine sense to basically detect that there is obviously an incursion of some kind, which is what Bork used to, you know, you know, you, you're mm -hmm. able to pin the pieces together and be like, okay, Doros probably did that here. Yeah, so with the check, could I check to see how wide that area of sense is that will definitely be a religion check and that will be a high dc for that all right here i go i am trained in it so 14 uh it's maybe 30 60 feet you're not sure exactly it's 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 not like huge huge but you know it's not giant like it's 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 close to home so right. it would definitely encompass the tavern, at least part of the tavern, you'd, you'd assume. We would probably mm. want someone who can watch over the warehouse as well, since that's now part of our property. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, looking over to Kay, uh, Greco says, uh, Kay, do you need to do any perimeter sweeps in case we're being scryed? She actually, like, when you when you mentioned Doros being at your place, like, you watch as she kind of goes through these different stages of understanding, where she's like, why would Doros be here? And then it's just like, the eyes kind of wander. She goes, oh, right, his girlfriend. Oh, right, his girlfriend. Uh, what? It's just kind of like going through this whole, like, how is this working in her brain? You can it's see every gear turning in her head. It's slowly parsing in her head as we're talking, so her face kind of, like, shifts mid-conversation. Oh, yeah, plus totally. two equals five, four! <laughs> Kay, 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 are you with me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, uh, yes? Uh, we might need to do a semi-regular sweep just to see if we're being scried or if there's anything else watching us. Uh, I mean, Especially I could... after yesterday. Yeah, I can yeah, take care yeah. of that. Oh. Oh? I, I can start ritual casting detect magic right now. I guess that's fair. I guess I could too. I cannot. Everyone turns and looks at Borky, including Ty Borpington, who's serving more food. It's true. <laughs> it's true, actually, yeah, it's quite true. Mr. Borpington, keep this hot bean juice coming. Every time I drink more, I feel like I have the strength of ten men. Okay. It's really starting to take off. It just kind of goes and disappears behind the two. I, I need it every morning or I will kill someone. In that case, let me go do a perimeter check on my own. Uh, Monty, could you allow me to do that? Just do a quick investigation of the inside and up on the roof if need be. Sure. Where you want to go up on the roofs or you want to stay on the ground? I kind of want to do both if I have enough, if there is time. If there's not, I will say if you want, I'll say if you want to do both, it's with disadvantage because it will take you a long time to do a thorough check. But if you mm. want to choose one or the other, you can do it just a straight roll. So if you choose either if being you, on the ground or being on the roof, I'll actually hit the roofs. If okay. you want to wait like 10 minutes, I can join you with my detect magic. Okay, I'll ca I can wait. That's fine. All right. You guys, you guys I will ritual cast detect magic. All right. You guys, you you immediately, boom, you sense immediately, obviously, all the things on your companions. Uh -huh. Kay, obviously, your book and everything is magical. Uh, Ty Borpentine is very magical. <laughs> yes, um, he is. <laughs> Damn straight. Louis Strog is like, have you ever seen people who do like the EL wire lights? Like it looks like a stick man walking through yeah, like yeah. the oh, darkness. Good. That's what Louis Strog looks like. <laughs> it almost looks like you can see the nervous system or the blood blood system oh, as magic. That's why I'll never find love. <laughs> really freaky. Um, 
beyond that, you mean you pick up a couple of bleeps here and there, but as you look over, it's just patrons and their magical items or familiars or something along those lines, but nothing really, like nothing's like, ooh, demons immediately. No scrying either? No, nope, no scrying. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll look for any sort of traces of anything being here. If anyone wants to join me in that search. Uh, I actually was going to ask one other thing, but uh, I'll let you do your thing because I need the help of Scarbles for this one. Okay. Well. God. Sorry. <laughs> was that was that was that into me wanting to summon no. Scarbles? <laughs> no, Lonnie well, both. But roll twenty. I didn't fix the thing with the music last time. They all my all my different files oh. open, folders uh... open. So I just like went through and I was like closing them, and then I got to a point where it's just like there's so many. I'm like, I don't know. All right. So all right. investigation. All right, so uh, you and Panic are doing the roofs? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say for both of you, because uh, I'm going to say I'm gonna say for you, uh, Panic, roll acrobatics with advantage, just because you're getting help. All right. But you are not a climby boy, I'm sorry. You don't know how to perch like I Mr. Am? Birdman. Exactly. It's going up there. Oh. Uh, uh, twelve. You needed a, you needed a ten at least, so you're fine. You, right. you get with with Greckles's help, kind of leading you along the way. You managed to climb on top of the roof of the of the Sweet Dragon, which is interesting because you can see how the warehouse is being re-roofed and everything like that. And I will say that both of you roll investigation checks for me. All right. I was about to say panic's fucking lower torso slams oh, on the 22. window. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Not bad. I'm fit. I'm fit, but uh, this but... isn't my forte. No, no, uh... no, you're not, panic. Panic, but, you, uh, you have muscle definition, but one cold winter, you fucked. Anyway, uh, panels loose, scuff marks, anything. Yeah. Oh, that... natural one. You panic, you get up there, and you're like, I got it. And you look down, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, Greckles, the... I'm up here. What am I looking for? <laughs> uh, Greckles... Actually, I would say probably with the, the radius. How how far is the radius for detect magic? Believe it is thirty feet, Click. sixty feet. Click no, thirty feet. Thirty no. feet. Okay. Yeah, Wait. you don't detect. Just click the spell, bro. <laughs> I'm on the edge well, of the, my the seat range. Here. The, the the range says sixty feet on on for the okay. duration you sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of you. Okay. So immediately, as you get up on like the base of the roof, I'd say like right above the actual tavern part, you don't detect anything. Uh, Greckles, with your investigation check, the only thing that seems out of place you haven't really noticed before is that there's a gargoyle on top of the the Oriare Temple, huh? That you've never seen before. I mentioned it to them. Yeah, Taps told us about that. Yeah. Oh, did he? Okay. You didn't. Yeah. It's like it's just sitting there, but it's like kind of weird. It's a different pose than last time. Uh, I'm He's... curious. Well, I'll, I'll give him a wave. Have you met? Did you meet him? I no. can't remember. We've ne we none of us have met him except Ask. No, he talked yeah. to you. Remember when Did you he? climbed up onto the? Oh, onto that's the right. Roof? It was really, it was really brief. It was like yeah, it was super really brief. brief. So you wave to him. Roll a persuasion check. I'll say with advantage. Because <laughs> you met him. Before. Uh, twenty-two. Okay. You watch as he lifts up, like lift up the hand and does two fingers and does a come here motion. Oh, oh, let's go oh, then. Oh, oh. I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, let's let's go. I'm gonna keep right, holding panic. this ladder. Panic, roll <laughs> wisdom saving throw for me because with the natural one, you are terrified of being up here. Oh man, I will. It is, I will. It is slippery, and you cannot play a guitar with a broken arm. That is true. I'll hold uh, down. Wisdom <laughs> saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom save. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, you're like you're like a person about to go on a roller coaster, having their hand held as you're like walking across the roof. Like each step is trepidation. Like Greckles, you have to like pull him because he's like really resisting. But eventually, hey, come on, it's fine. You guys make it over towards the uh, the roof of the Oriara Temple. Uh, there's a gap between the roof and that temple, so I'm gonna say you guys can make a acrobatic check to jump if you so choose to. Uh, can I can I grapple hook it to be safe? Sure, yeah, I'll say okay, you can Okay, let's do that then. All right, you grapple hook, and I'm going to say you, you take panic over reluctantly, and you guys draw yourselves up to the roof of the, or, of the I almost said Orin, uh, the roof of the Oriara Temple, uh, and Frank kind of just slowly turns and goes, how's it going? Oh, it's, 
it's been going kind of rough, Frank. You All see panic. The, go the gargoyle moves and talks. Don't oh. We're acquainted. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, Frank, we... Frank, this is panic. Panic, Frank. Don't worry about it. Hello. Oh, I sort of extend my hand towards... He just kind of looks down at his hand and looks back up to you. Roll an intelligence okay. check, panic. Intelligence. Yeah. Do you think we should hold on to this ladder, or should we follow them? No! No, I'm gonna keep holding this ladder, Panic, because I feel like the second I Eight. step away, someone's gonna come down. The name's familiar oh, to tonight. you, but you don't remember why, but it's... It, you're like, eh, it probably doesn't matter. Mm. He watches Frank Hunter and goes, Had a bit of an interesting run-in last night. What happened? You watch as he pulls back. He's got four arms on him. He's got four individual arms, and one of them's kind of so perched cool. in front of him. You watch as he pulls back from behind his back and his wings, two dead imps in his each hand. Ooh. He's doing I work. Know. I wouldn't know what imps are, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like bottom of the barrel. Like. Impressive, Frank. Mm. Saw them poking that around the roof. Sort of... mm. Looking into bedroom windows and such. Ugh. Hope I didn't wake you. I try no, to be as no, quiet no. as possible. No, Frank, if anything, Doros actually sensed something, so good job. Mm. I saw a light in the wizard's tower come on, so I figured I made too much noise, but... No, you're fine. Interesting. No. Frank, have you ever encountered a Yugoloth? No. Devil people, yeah. Have you seen one before? Devil people. Let me show you exactly what these things... Well, I don't know if exactly this is a Yugoloth, but this is something we ran into that we may very easily see again. Uh, casting... Silent Image. Actually, no, screw it. I could do... I could No, I could do Minor Illusion. I could just make it be really small. I mean, it doesn't yeah, have to... Just, it's like a color. tiny little, little, like, hologram picture, yeah. So just extending the talent. Just, six, six. You watch as the gargoyle kind of this grinding stone noise kind of leans over and looks down. His eyes kind of narrow, and he goes, I don't know. Kind of leans well, back up. Well, don't worry about it. If you see one of these, consider yourself lucky. These things can just turn invisible at will, but they're very, very, very good assassins. If you see them at all, don't hesitate to kill. Hmm. No, Judge. Panic? Got anything? He goes back uh, again. Kind of perched again, puts the puts the imps behind him. There, by the way, the imps are like 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 almost like a like a like a child holding like a Barbie doll by the head, are kind of swaying. It looks like probably what he did is he grabbed them by the head and just popped their heads like grapes oh, oh, in his hands. God. Yeah, uh, I still I still have detect magic on. Is there any faint signatures on the imps? No, they are stone cold dead. But mm. Frank has a very strong single magical source in him. That is like, Ooh. which is actually, it's almost like a laser pointer to the eye. Sort of like annoying. Ow. Uh, Ow. That, uh, well, we'll explain that later. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, Frank, can I have one of those bodies? Uh, as long as you don't tell people where you got it. And he kind of hands it to you. It's about no, the size of like, um, like a cat. It's about the size of a larger size cat. I'll just tell him I found it on the, uh, the roof of the tavern. Don't worry about it, big guy. Thanks. All right, Panic, you good? Yeah. Um, right. Hmm. I know they can be familiars. Yeah. Honestly, there Panic, are, it's... There oh, are sorry. two of them, which is... That's what makes it kind of odd. If it was one, it'd be like, okay, maybe that someone's familiar. But I, there are two. Can I, I do some sort of check to know, like, what specific kind of fiend they are, or if they're just, like, general... Roll an Arcana check for me, just in general. Would I have advantage on this at all because of my past research? No, because this is specifically a different field of magic for this I one gotcha. specific thing I'm going to give you, yeah. All right, Arcana is 23. 23. When a familiar dies, it just disappears. So these are not familiars. These are very clearly summoned imps that have remained here. That kind of begs the question, Panic. Don't extra planar creatures like these dissipate and go back to the realm once they're dead? That is exactly what I was thinking. It's the they're not familiars thing. either, because they would just disappear regardless as well. 
You know, maybe we should take this to our librarian before we head over to a mansion. Once we tell the guys, of course. Yes. Edward might be able to give us a bit more insight as well. This this is his realm of expertise, after all. Yeah. Let's head back. All right. Guys, <clears throat> Frank? Before he has, as you hold the, the ladder there, eventually... Oh, sorry. You were going to say something to Frank? No, I was just I was just saying goodbye to him. Okay, yeah. He just kind of gives you this little slow nod and just kind of goes back to his original sort of pose. Uh, Borky, as you've been holding the ladder there for a solid, like, 50 minutes now, eventually someone comes down it. Say, I told you, Task. Right, second I leave. Second I leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we have a problem. Two, actually. Many, uh, like, many problems, like, at any given time. While he's talking, Greckles pulls out the body. Ah! Dear God, you killed it quietly. No, that wasn't me. This oh. was up on the roof. Kay kind of walks over and, like, lifts up one of the hands and lifts it up. And she kind of looks down and she goes, Weird, usually they go away when they die. That's oh. what I'm That's thinking. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Hmm. Hey, you owe me an ale. You owe the bar. Just, I, wonder this has something, I wonder if this has something to do with Alabas magical influx, maybe. Possibly. We were actually mm. going to take this over to our uh, librarian, wizard. Wizard? Oh. Looks around. Is a researcher, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Is he working? We should also yeah. get Doros on this as well, too. Hmm. Yes, we you know, should. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What happened to these two creatures? Apparently, they were skulking around outside, and, uh, well, they didn't last very long. Looks like their heads were crushed. I don't know. There were, there were a couple, I, I assume that there were, uh, a few loose, uh, uh, sh uh pieces of, uh, roofing that fell off, yes? I, something like that, yeah. Mm. There was some kind of disturbance. They must have fallen for the trap. I'm not technically lying. The imp trap. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Either way, if it's all right with you, I'd like to try and move forward with this, inv with this investigation. I definitely wish to talk to Captain Doros, for sure. I should give Absolutely. him my full report. All right, let me go get him. I go upstairs and I knock on Willow's door. Okay. Uh, you knock on the door. There's no reply. And uh... then, like, five minutes pass, and then... You watch as like the door opens like the tiniest little bit task. And as you look up, there's no one there, but then you look down and you see Bright just kind of holding the door open like a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, you. Bright, uh, is Doros here? You watch as it kind of turns around. There's two separate rooms in Willow's Tower. I mean, there's the lower floor, but on the main floor, there's obviously her workstation, which at this point now is very well used. Nice. Um, but there is a closed door, which is like her bed lodgings, and you watch as Bright kind of just turns over towards that door and then turns back up to you. Oh, do I have to be that asshole? Yes, you do. Fine, fuck it. <sighs> I walk towards the door, and I knock on it. All right, you knock on it, and as you knock on it, the door actually quickly opens, and you see Doro's currently, like, jumping, putting on one of his boots, and kind of opens up the door, just kind of looking at you. Looks, like, he looks up, and he looks down, and he goes, hmm. Doros, you weren't wrong. Hmm. We found something. Head downstairs. We'll show you. Hmm. You watch as he turns over. Willow's, like, passed out, sleeping. <laughs> like, he, like, like, explosion hair. Like, it's just this mop of hair. <laughs> oh, so it's like Frankenstein style. <laughs> Boom. Like, <laughs> like like college student after finals. <laughs> so he watches with like hair in the mouth, like staying in yeah, the mouth. Yeah, yeah, oh, totally. God. Yeah. He watches like, Doros. Yep, sorry. Is she like con contortionist pose, like completely restless. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's like a there's like a like a weird Doros divot in the bed too where he was T posing <laughs> in his sleep. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> That's how he sleeps. Um, and you, you watch as he kind of like just quickly like, puts on one of his greaves and he kind of leans over and kisses her on the forehead and then oh. grabs his the rest of his armor, his cape, and he kind of walks out the door with you. I bring him I bring him downstairs uh, to show him the imp body. Okay. As you as you show him the imp body, he just quickly deviates and goes talk to Ty and Ty's like, yeah, I'll, I'll bring breakfast up. Yeah, sure. He just kind of disappears in the kitchen and Doros kind of walks over. Hmm. And you watch as Kayla immediately is like, like chest up, back straight, salute completely. Captain Doris, it is an excellent situation working with you, sir. 
And Doros kind of like does a double take, like, oh, right, there's someone else here. And then kind of <laughs> slowly sits down and starts partaking in breakfast. Tash just right. folds his eyes. Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, all right, well, let's get our researcher, let's get Kay on this, and let's get Doros on this. Is, okay. so when, is, when, when is the researcher stopping, by the way? He's... He should uh, still be here. He should still be here. He's, he's unpacking the library. Did you want to call for him, or do you want to go up and see him? Probably no, go we're going to call for him. I want all three of these guys him? on this. All okay. Right. Sounds good. Doros is the one who's there first, because you got him first. Um, he looks at the body and just kind of kind of looks up towards Kay and Kay's like, I assume it's some sort of summoned uh, spy. I mean, scry spells don't last very long, and it makes sense I, to bring in something else. That can't... Uh, panic interjects. I, I don't think so. They would have disappeared if they were familiars, wouldn't they? Well, I mean, I don't know any Yugaloth that's a wizard, to be honest with you. I mean, what use would they have for familiars if they can just summon more devils and demons to, you know, do their jobs for them? That's, that's kind of a enough. trend with them. But it still begs the question as to why they didn't go back. I don't know. You watch as eventually stumbling down uh, out from where the library is, you see Enceladus just kind of like, oh, uh, just kind of uh, adjusting out like kind of a bow tie he's got sort of around his uh, sort of like vestments that he kind of walks out with. He goes, top of the margin. Oh, is that coffee? And you watch as he, oh, that's bitter. Oh, very good though. Uh, yes, what do we look- Ah! He just kind of looks at the body and immediately, like, completely Ow. tenses up. Ah. Uh, Chaotic. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this is the- sorry, well. this is the elf, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. the elf guy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Enceladus. I know it's kind of a weird first day, but, uh, hey, take a look. It's, it's a, a real that's... weird first <laughs> day. It's a weird corpse. What's up? Very, very weird. F fascinating, really. Um, do you mind if I just take a- he, I just he grabs a fork and starts poking the body, just kind of like. Borky <laughs> hands Borky like, hands him a dinner knife, so he can just really start getting in there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I'd say the cause of death would be the head being completely crushed. Mm. What are we looking for exactly? This is an imp. Uh, it, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't be here if it was dead, correct? Uh no. But there is a theory uh, any wizard or sorcery with, sorcerer with their with their neck have you ever heard of wild magic surges specifically yes. in, in the arcane yes. element yes it said that it kind of almost moves like a wave sometimes strange magics can kind of happen random um Alabas seems to be chock full of these things if i had to guess i would say this is material plane syndrome it's a simple phrase but essentially summon things it can't go back from where they've um, that implies oh. there was probably a surge. How common is it that something summoned here remains unchained to the material realm? Oh, shit. My bad, Mudron's calling me on my scrying, my sending stone. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Mudron's currently we're organizing the library. We're almost done. Apologies. Um, sorry, could you repeat that for me? Uh, how common is it that when something is summoned that it remains unchained to the material realm? It can happen time to time. Um, I mean, something that stayed long enough sometimes can permeate ancient years. Um, it's often said the dragons were one such thing. Um, <laughs> That's ridiculous. I thought it was a theory, <laughs> really. Um, Gre Greckles is actually going to pull Kay aside just for a quick moment. Uh, yeah. Kay, those assassins didn't dissipate. They just exploded. Could it be possible that they were also chained? And if so, should we tell everyone else? Let's keep this on the down low. We don't want to get the masses surprised. Okay. The less our enemy right. knows, the better. Now, here's the thing. We have a blacksmith now, so we can make our own chains and check. Oh, Jesus, Borky. <laughs> uh, Borky, you have an onion hanging out of your tusk right there. Right there. I'm oh, saving just... it for later. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Right. Um, watches Enceladus is kind of stroking his chin. Let's say, do you want me to identify what type of imp, what plane this imp might have come from? That the would more, be helpful. Yes, the more you can find out, the better. And if we are not here, I would like it if you gave this information to Captain Doros here. Oh, uh, Captain, he kind of nods, and Doros is just like eating food. He's like, mm, mm, what kind of nods? <laughs> <laughs> Man's eating. He's eating yeah. well. All right. Oh, yeah, no, no. But I'm just like, hey, pass any info to him. Yeah, Doros is kind of doesn't really have too much else because this is kind of like, besides sensing them, you get the sense that's kind of where it ends. 
Uh, but Zelda well, having the police roll. force know any info would be the better solution. Ooh, and Zelda didn't roll very well. Ooh, oh, really. D. Uh, but proficiency in... Oh, that and Salivars. You rolled a 10. He kind of puts them around. He goes, oh, without the horns, I don't know where it's from. I mean, imps... Imps exist in most every pocket, demon or devilish. Oh, devilish, sorry, apologies. A demon would be a closet, uh, but devilish sort of circles. Um, which would imply, if, if, um, if uh, I don't know if you're dealing with devils at the moment, would be leaning more towards the devil, the infernal. Uh, so I don't know if that's of any use to you. Well, it definitely could narrow down what our enemy is. Mm. <sighs> Well, I... You mentioned Ugalos, correct? You mentioned Ugalos? That is correct. Mm. Yes. I actually he slapped down like a little bit of a piece of paper. I actually did a little bit of extra research uh, and found out different types to perhaps look out for. Um, specifically, there are, I'd say, two types of, of Ugalos, if I were to define them. Ones that are sort of admirals or um, sort of the, um, uh, the guard, the, the captain, so to speak kind of points towards Doros, and Doros is just, like, like eating an orange, like, a whole, just, like, I'm um, just swallowing it. Man, Ooh. skin and all, what a badass. <laughs> <laughs> no sense of taste, I swear. Um, you watch as uh, Encelda's kind of, like, gently, kind of gently pushes aside the imp and pushes the note in front. You have um, the most dangerous ones, specifically, I looked into for you, um, is, I would say, the Ultraloth and the Arcanoloth. Specifically, the Ultraloth is tends to be the ringmaster of um, any sort of force, usually making their way into the material plane. Uh, but that is that is about as high as we can get. The lowest point, I would say, would be around your Mesoloths, uh, subservient loths. Um, there's a few others that have yet uh, properly documented. Insult, yeah. insult this. How about this? Just poofs up the image back in his talon. That does not... Give me one second. Let me grab my sending stone real fast. And he kind of grabs the sending stone. He goes, uh, Mutron, if you would be so kind, could you get me the encyclopedia of demons and devils, please? Uh, second shelf, back from the right. You just you watch him as he kind of leans back his Man. ear from the sending stone. It's okay. You can clean that up later. Just as soon as you can. <clears throat> Mutron will be down with the book immediately. We'll Try and see if we can find something. How big was this thing? And you just kind of asked for more details. It I, mean, really... I mean, I just kind of saw it. Just, hey. I don't know how to explain it. I saw it and then it just disappeared. That's common usually with most uh, demons. It's Greckles quite... is gonna I, Greckles is gonna eye everyone to try to keep it on the down low. <laughs> Simple point. It could, watch... It'd have to duck its head to get in here if that makes sense. Quite big then. Okay, that that removes a few. Uh, you watch as eventually the little construct holding up this giant like encyclopedia looking book runs down with like overstretched above its head. It kind of runs down Ma wearing its Monty. little 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 clothes and yep. Monty, I now I now envision he waddles downstairs with a three point five fiend folio. <laughs> yeah. You watch as he kind of walks up to you guys and there's this moment of pause before the little little construct goes. Book! And then just puts it down, funk, on top of the table. Jesus. Right on Doris' food. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doris is like, I was going to eat that later. Um, My you God, watch he spoke. As a pretty large, substantially fiendish looking tome is put in front of you guys. Um, Panic, this is something that you, you would not be able to find in your research. This is definitely like a refined, single copy research tomb of books. Gotcha. You watch as he kind of licks his thumb and starts thumbing through very fast. And I'm going to roll an intelligence check to see if he can find this creature. Come on, smart man. Could I help him at all? Sure, if you want to give him advantage. Yeah, I'm curious. Okay, give him advantage. That didn't help him at all, but that's okay. Plus five, a plus proficiency. It's 21. All right. Yeah, 21. He thumbs, he thumbs through and he goes, oh. Oh dear. He kind of looks through this one chapter and he puts down a, a book um, and you do see an exact like exactly one to one picture of that creature you guys saw. Yep, that's the guy. Yes, that is, it? is not a Yugoloth. That is an Orthon. It is a um, well, based on this, 
usually the kings or leaders of the demonic or actually specifically the fiendish realm, specifically the devilish realm, uh, hired these creatures to track down anything. They will tirelessly pursue their quarry until they're dead, even going so far as to breach the boundary between planes. Um, they have sharp senses, become invisible at will, and um, yes, rather nasty. How smart are these things? I mean, do they just go after whatever they're told to go after, or do they actually think for themselves? Uh, it sounds like, based on this description, they stick to a contract. So if you're dealing with Yugoloths, I would not be surprised if it signed a contract with the Yugoloth. You certainly explain why maybe it, these things are connected. Wait, could this thing come back? Um, it doesn't say anything about that. Because it sort of exploded and, uh... Well, yeah, it got it, everywhere, it really did. It, it vapor... No, it didn't. It vaporized. It probably went back to the plane from which it came. Uh, if it were to come back, it would mean it would have to restart its contract, I imagine. So whatever called it forth in the first place would probably have to reinstitute its... Sort of its direction, so to speak. Well, and okay, it looks like you're safe for now. For now. Panic real quick. Yep. Do you have ways of taking care of this thing if we find it again? Being very hush hush, by the way. Hmm. Well, I do you can have do you have fairy do you have fairy fire back? Is what I'm trying to ask above. Uh, he not. I could probably keep it from going invisible. Good. Also, do a lot of other nasty things to it. I could also. Depending on what it does, uh, yeah, I could generally throw wrench, throw a couple of wrenches into its plans. Oh, that's good then. My God, I just realized what this thing is. Has anyone here played Painkiller? Yes. Just that, but instead of heaven, it's hell. So Painkiller oh. too. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's right. It, that didn't happen in Painkiller too. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's time yeah. to go to hell because there's nothing. I forgot like about hell. that. Fuck. <laughs> How dare you? Going over my head. How dare you miss late '90s, early 2000s video gaming? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, and Celis kind of adjusts. Goes. Unfortunately, that's all the information I've got. Um, I wish I could, could find you? you more. Yes. And Celis, could you actually make just kind of a cliff notes of every single Yugoloth and? Strengths, weaknesses, resistances, and such. I think we're going to need that information going. Sure, absolutely. All right. So because of his role that he did, he unfortunately only got, like, a couple of them. He didn't get all of them. Mm -hmm. But he did get ones. If any mis that. By the way, if you make any mistakes, just say, it's my first day. <laughs> I fucking I move over to Kay, and I kind of mutter to her, well, congratulations, you're on a demon's hit list. Great. <laughs> well, from the sounds of it, it looks like they'd have to, you know, renegotiate. So are you, Task. We so the, mes the Mesoloth, which is actually something you saw, he points it out in the book, that bug head that you saw at Barnaby Black's place. Ooh. These ones Whoa. are, they're basically the most you'll see of, of Yugoloths will be Mesoloths. They make up most of the population. Uh, so... They serve as foot soldiers. They are foot soldiers. Uh, violence and reward are the fundamental drives of them. So they are basically like they're Borky. <laughs> Expendable, endless Borkies. Um, okay. Interesting. They are, they are resistant to cold fire, lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing weapons. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down there, sister. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of stuff. They are immune to acid and poison. Okay, they, they are gods. G-O-D-S. Beyond that, you, that's all the information you can glean. Uh, our Canaloths are incredibly dangerous. Uh, they have a lot of spells under their belt, but unfortunately, uh, you don't know what ones because they're spellcasters. Um, they have a true sight. Oh. Oh. Don't they have a, a very large true sight. Uh, and they are also resistant, the same as the Mesoloth. No, here's. Uh, but, so no you're not sure, out. Yeah, but you're not sure what damage immunities and what condition immunities they have. Are you sure they can't be poisoned? Uh, I mean, looking through this book, it looks like all of them can't be poisoned. So... Damn. Damn, the most uh, effective killing thing in all of man's lexicon. that no, we don't have yeah, it. Uh, 
Ultraloth, not a lot of information on them. Generally, people who run into them don't last very long. Um, assumedly, same resistances. Um, also have a true sight vision. And they also can teleport. So at any given time, they could be anywhere invisible and then leave at any given time. No, it doesn't say anything about Ultra Loss being able to turn invisible. There's a difference? Borky has not been paying attention. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> it's a difference that. between... It, basically, the difference between what we saw and what this is, is that everything is different, Borky. Okay. Borky squints through. <laughs> <laughs> Give you the Dinkelberg stare. Okay. <laughs> Look, look, big guy, don't worry about it. Uh, I wish uh, Remy was here. Remy, well, you walked through the doors immediately. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I figured I would just meet them at the romantic. Oh, hey, Remy. Oh, hi, Remy. Remy. They've like, been taking a while. They should be there by now, and you gotten worried because of, you're, you know, <laughs> Your fucking Uber is here. He's been waiting for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monty. That made that made me really happy. That was so funny. I, I mean, so... I guess picture he's standing out there, and they were like, "Oh, before we leave, let's do this. Oh, before we leave, let's do this." Fuck yeah! Literally, literally, they're taking so long. You got worried. Now you've come to check on them because it's. Bosco, been... can you blame us? I do yeah. magic for real. I do magic. Yes, yes, I can. It's fine. I, okay. I was, you can. It's fine. Remy, sorry about the wait. We ran into an interesting situation. No, I thought I was going to find all of you dead. Uh, not yet. <laughs> if only. Well, Except I, this thing. I, I, I think this is all I've got for you. Here's your footnotes. He kind of pushes you the little note and goes, I'm going to head back and keep organizing the library. I've got a little bit more work to do. But of course, if you need anything, don't be afraid to ask me or Mutron. I'd be willing to help you. Excellent. I will hang on to this then. So in Miss, case I forget. <laughs> Miss Kate, oh, okay. lovely to see you. He kind of does a little nod to Kay and Kate's just kind of like, hmm. He kind of gives a little smile and he makes his way up the stairs. Doros kind of... <laughs> takes a stern of milk, like, not even, like, a glass, like, the pitcher, and just <laughs> puts it down, stands up, dusts himself off, and just points to the door and gives you a little salute and leaves. Task, that's, that's, that's how I feel after one cookie as well. Task, yeah. how, in the, how in the world would a family of kobolds be able to raise an appetite like that? I walk out the front door. I don't know. <laughs> God damn it, I set it up. Task just, like, looks left and right, just like... Uh, I guess they fucking eat the whole cow and then they catch another one just for him. Is there a particular reason you left me out there for an hour when there's work to be done? Uh, I uh, point at the fucking yes. imp on the table. Didn't you just get here? Yes. Remy, uh, th this, was st this was skulking around last night around our uh, building. Ap apologies, Your Majesty, but uh, simply we had to be thorough about our research and our investigation. And whoa, 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 your lordship, Remus Corbo, I apologize. I just didn't know what sort of what formal... What the hell is this? Or he looks, <laughs> looks at the guys. What is this? She just kind of turns and gives you like the scowly kind of look and then immediately turns back to you. I mean, softens a bit in their face. It's I... completely fine. I was just checking up on everyone. And if you have everything you need, you can inform me on the way. How's that yes. sound? Let's, yes, let's yeah. go, everyone. We're, we've already taken up precious time. Um... And maybe in the middle of all of you. <laughs> Not that I think anything's going to happen, but just in case. No, that's oh, oh, that's oh, fair enough. If, if it's anything like last night, then yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you guys yes, yes, you head are. out. I uh, I want to make it up. I, I just want to say I want to make it a point to be just darting around looking all the time we're traveling. Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll a perception check, I'd say. You see Greckles, like, for one hot second, Greckles is sitting on top of a trash can, pecking inside of it, and then he's back on the roof. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before we leave, I would like to re-up my detection. Oh, okay. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. I know. Hurt. Sorry, buddy. Oh. All right. Borg is going to fall is... in beside Remy, by the way, for the walking. The city panic, it's like a disco ball of magic. It's just, the city itself is just filled between the, the you know, the, the, 
the um the papers that people use for their jobs to like the animals to like the pigeons that are everywhere they're all magical um it's a little bit overwhelming to the senses but you don't get a strong feeling from anything specifically besides yourselves mm -hmm. yeah uh, eventually, you guys make your way through the city streets to the entertainment district. Once again, like a machine, Kay presents all the documentation. It's very strange watching a man dressed up as a jester, like having to go through various different paperwork, like he's signing for a new house and sweating bullets the entire time. <laughs> like every time he's just like, he's ready to put the quill away. She's like, and you sign this form. He says, oh, fuck. And, just like, and she's like, and then you need to sign the It's like, oh, it just kind of throws his head back. As you can see, there's kind of a lineup of people trying to get Why through. not get him just Fucking... everyone to sign? <laughs> Fucking... She wants to be sure he's signing each one. Just imagine his makeup's running like, this is like my divorce lawyer. <laughs> 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 All right, so, uh, oh so well, uh, Borky wants to turn to Remy. Can, can Borky have a moment with Remy? Just a very quick moment. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, man, that's crazy that she referred to you as Majesty and Lordship. What's all that about, Remy? Well, technically, where I am from, I am a lord, and sometimes your majesty is with a lot of the commoners we use. It's interchangeable with lord, not technically correct. It's oh. like I'm a king or something. So, I see, I see. So what, what did you do to get this, that, that term, like that, that, that uh, title? I was born into it. Oh, I thought it mattered. Borky walks away. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, have have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Ow! I actually physically hurt. That, from that. fucking stung. <laughs> shit! Wow. Remy better remember this. Multiple ellipses. <laughs> if Remy had eyebrows, they would turn into daggers. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and you guys. He, he, like a little hand like comes up from the ceiling and puts a little staples a little eyebrow on his head as you guys begin to walk into the, the entertainment district now getting the go ahead from the very sweaty jester um Kay is kind of looking looking down at some documentation she goes oh, the mansion why does that sound so familiar uh Kay, do you know what the romantion is the name is familiar it's a brothel uh that's a little strong there task you watch his case face kind of goes mm. Like titans, you just feel me everything, every Task part of the is age. not one for subtlety and your okay. Nope. Oh, okay. No, I okay. know, I know. Kate, no, good. Kate, Kate, listen, it is uh, one floor of it is, but the first couple of floors are just general entertainment and relaxation. I, yeah, it's like a I, it's like a bar spa brothel, really. I've been there before. Yep, yep, I've been there before. Uh, you have? Uh, yeah, it's just a work thing. It's just a work thing. Can I insight that? <laughs> yeah, go yeah. ahead. Come <laughs> on in on this. Let me go. Yeah, my 18? 18, K. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Please give me good insight. She rolled pretty well. That's good. Double 19s! <laughs> Yay! She rolled a 19 total. Oh! Zito. Or Zito. Task. My, uh, my bad. I mean, Zito too. Zito! Like, task. You know. <laughs> uh, task. She's very uncomfortable. She's sweating under the collar a little bit. Tash just grins at her. Anyway, back to the job at hand. <laughs> you guys make your way forward throughout the city. Notably, there are pigeons, but there's always pigeons. But you do notice they're kind of keeping an eye on you. Mm. Uh, as eventually you guys make your way to the romantion during the daytime, which is, you were there before Panic and Remy as well. Mm -hmm. It's not a party at, at, during the day. It's pretty quiet during the day. You guys make your way up to the front door. Mm. You see a rather hungover looking guard at the front, this sort of dwarven woman who looks a, a little a little, a little tired. Uh, uh dwarven me. the guard is a dwarven woman? Yep, yeah, dwarven woman, yeah. Got it. I will okay. approach. Okay, go for it. As will Greckles and he will say. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no go good. ahead. Go, no, I don't, I don't want to take your moment good. from you. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm uh, just a, I'm just a noble nobody cares about. It. It's all you. Oh, oh, I love you, Bosco. You apologize uh, this instant, Taka. <laughs> what did I do? I am not saying my thing till you apologize. <laughs> no, it's fine. Nobody in the chat yeah. actually cares either. They're like, that I would like to play the D and D game. Please. <laughs> I would too. Go ahead, uh, Greg. Uh, uh, um, on your uh, toes. Okay, okay. I, I would like to be absolved of all wrongdoing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ma'am, excuse me. Uh, what do you want? 
Uh, we need... Uh, we're here on behalf of Barnaby Black. <clears throat> we're here on a very important investigation. I would like to talk to whoever's in charge of this establishment, please. Greco Jason's throws both talons up to his chest and just backs away slowly. <laughs> Specifically, we would like to speak to Miss Tombstone if she is around. Tombstone? The matriarch? Uh, Correct. Yeah, just go inside. Talk to the girl at the front desk. She can ring her in. Thank you very much. Remy's going to walk in and then shoot a look at Borky and then continue walking. Detect hit. magic is still on, by the way. It is, yeah. You, <laughs> Hour detect, long. you detect a lot of magic in here of varying degrees. Okay. Like conjuration, abjuration, divination. This place, you've been here before. It's very clearly it works on a very magical-based system. I'm going to say roll an arcana check for me really fast because this right. might not be the best thing to have on when you're in here. Oh, I mean, it's like it's like no, it's, it's like someone flashing a sunlight at a goddamn uh, like I mean, uh, what like what is what is it? What do you call it? The like, black light. Black. Thank you. Acor not... According to the wording of the spell, I have to take an action to really have the the glowing stuff happen. I sense generally when magic is around me, but I don't. Oh, it's like a raven here, though. Even with that, All right. it's there's a lot in here, so it's a little muddled. You're actually having a really hard time. Like, oh, there's some conjuration. Oh, what? that duration. Uh, Arcana check is 16. Okay. No avocation, which makes sense. I mean, there's no reason to be avocation magic in here, but like a lot of divination, a <laughs> lot of conjuration, mostly those two. Some abjuration, a little bit of transmutation too, interestingly oh, no. enough. That makes divination. me wonder who else is scribing in here. <laughs> divination and conjuration. Yeah, I'm specifically looking for like scrying type stuff. Scrying? I'd say roll a perception check to see if you can pinpoint any scrying in here. Perception. Uh, not great. Oh. Seven. Seven. You look around. I mean, there's lights in here, like magical lights that already kind of exist, but none of them look like the little moat of scrying that you've seen before. All right. The uh, moment you walk in, Kay is just kind of like like shrunken into herself a little bit. The head's kind of like pulled back into the shoulders a little bit, and she's just kind of like no, brought no. in her 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 little clipboard and her pencil and or her quill, and is just kind of like looking around. New insight like, check. Sure, absolutely. I, I was actually just going to ask that very thing. Thank you very much. Oh god damn it! Thirteen. Task is still fucking like gecko smiling at her as soon as we're walking in. <laughs> um, this place is always two, oddly sticky. You, it's actually not. It's very nice in here. Um, you can't get a read on her besides that she seems a little bit uncomfortable, but you're not sure why. Does she have a last name? You don't know. Okay. Okay, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just note-taking, note-taking. Chris is like, look, there's five lights. I gotta write that down. Ah, yes, note-taking. Okay, have you ever been here? Once on a on a work trip. How long did you stay here? I'm sorry, but this investigation is not about me. It is about what yeah. we're looking into. All right, we know. Okay. I was about to say, okay. why does this matter? <laughs> she's acting okay. weird. She's acting okay. even more. He's like, mind. would you be able to figure out if this place is secure? Um, me? Yes, Actually. much like you did at the hunter's locale. Oh, I think points to panic. I think he's already doing that. Yeah, there's nothing. Actually, really quick, Task, how about you, though? You could, you could scope out this entire place. All right, activating primeval awareness for uh, fiends. You get a stink like no other here. Task ears rise up, and he aims, he aims his head in that direction. Does it, it doesn't pinpoint where they are, does it? No, it doesn't pinpoint where they are, but it gives me a general like idea that they're around. Okay, something in this building. Task just like looks back at everyone else and nods his head very sharply. Well, that's good to know. He watches Kate notes down. Hmm. Say oh. nothing you don't want to get back to the wrong people. I'm sorry, do you? Oh, hello again. You see an elf, currently a female elf, currently manning the front, like little, little sort of, um, what are they called? Little podium. Kiosk. Oh, podium. A little podium. Kiosk. Yeah, a little kiosk podium in the front. Plint, thank you. Uh, and she's kind of like thumbing through some books and kind of goes, oh, very lovely to see you again. You remember, Borky, this was your masseuse when you guys were here for your whole just relaxation stay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. My name is Crystal. I don't know if you remember me, but I think we had a lovely time. Uh, yeah, more, more or less. Yeah. 
Crackles jabs Remy a little bit. She's talking. Kay kind of looks up with scrutiny, just kind of like giving you this like hypocrite, like you're such a hypocrite, like just kind of looking down at her. <laughs> who's looking Wait, at who, who right? It's like who's looking at who right now? Kay Kay is looking at Borky right now, just like with a sort of like you're a hypocrite, like kind of like bitterly <laughs> writing down a note. <laughs> Wait, what? What about me? Uh, she, yeah, she uh, she massaged my back muffle muscles. And then I had chicken wings. <laughs> Twas a great day. That's me laughing. That's me laughing, not not her. <laughs> this, is, this, this is this tombstone, correct? The person we're talking to. No, this is an elf. Uh, oh, this is the person at the front desk. Yes, you recall, okay. Borky. Her name is Crystal. She's Chris, very nice. Was it with a K or a C? C. Oh. C. Oh. No, that's fine, guys. Parents were hippies. That's what that means. I mean, they're elves, so I mean, all yeah. elves. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking so, rats in the multiverse. How may I help you, gentlemen? Then. Well, we actually, are... um, we require your assistance, and I'm gonna leave it to the vocally talented Borky backs away. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'd like to speak with the matriarch of this establishment. We have to complete an investigation. And you watch this, like, Crystal, who was at first like, oh, yeah, we're going to get some massaging. And she's like, oh, okay. Like, her face completely, like, just changes. And she goes, ah, uh, yes, I can call Tombstone down for, sh for sure. You watch as she reaches over and she rings a bell. And as she rings that bell, panic, like, almost like a jolt, like a lightning jolt from that bell. It just kind of, like, disappears in this giant swirling vortex of magic in this place. And you're just like, uh. <laughs> Uh, eventually, you guys are provided with warm towels as you guys sit down and wait for your for you guys to get oh, some free Oh, sweet! Oh, This place but, is like super, super nice. So, are we just like in, a, are, are we in the meeting room right now? So we're like in the yeah. Entrance. There's like there's like it's sort of like a cushion sort of waiting area where like they wait before they either you know seat you or wait till you get your escort or whatever. It's just kind of a little bit of like oh, a waiting man. area, and man, it's very nice. Okay, like it's legitimately nice. Okay. Um, you guys are provided tea and beverages, like simple, simple stuff. It's not great, but it's, you know, something to tide you over. And eventually, you hear heavy footfalls come down the stairs. Uh, as you see a female Goliath walking down the stairs, um, very pursed sort of face. Um, I'd say she's slightly shorter than Doros, just slightly. Um, definitely a little bit more thin than you've seen on other Goliaths. Um, Definitely female. You can definitely tell when she comes down the down the stairs. Um, her markings are all kind of run up one arm, almost like a like a sleeve tattoo that comes up into kind of this like rose sort of image on her shoulder, which you assume isn't natural. It was probably done uh, via tattooing. Um, and you walk down, and she's definitely not dressed super super nice, but she's in like very like nice looking attire, like very nice like pants. Um, yakuza. Sort of like right. side skirt, kind of handkerchief on the side, and then like basically just a simple like wrap around the chest. Uh, she's bald as well, completely bald, uh, and she's got. You thought you, you know you know how Helga constantly has this sort of uh, disapproving looking face. <laughs> she looks like she's ready to to deck the next person who talks to her. That's the sort of expression she has. Uh, on okay, face. as you were. Then. Uh, is it is it is it purposely intimidating or is it just resting best face? Roll an insight check. Yes, please. Probably the most intentional, like... 22s. 22. Resting bitch face. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't seem know. like... She's not, like, like, <laughs> like making, you know, getting upset. And she's walking down the stairs with, with <laughs> general... <laughs> Why did you do that again? <laughs> I don't know what I did, but... <laughs> I'm also like that in the morning sometimes. Yeah. Sorry, she... sorry. She looks like she's got a job to do, but she looks like she's got this sort of, like, natural sort of intensity to her, which is in some ways alluring, but other ways a little off-putting. Uh, she makes her way down the stairs and eventually walks over to Crystal, and Crystal kind of just points you guys out, which is pretty easy. You're the only ones in the establishment right now. She kind of walks over and goes, what do you want? Remy is going to step up immediately. Hopefully, Kay does as well. You get up to like her, like underneath her boobs a little bit, like just slightly. Under. <laughs> I have to ask a it's question, Monty, about the stand up when a lady we, enters the room. We must, we must discuss how tall is she? Uh, she's slightly shorter than Doris. I should she's probably uh, seven foot six. Okay. Probably All right. Odd question: uh, Is she taller than? Uh... Oh God. Bell. Yeah, is she taller than Bell? Much taller. Vela's very short. Vela's like six foot tall. 
Hmm. And this yep. is another female Goliath who is much taller than her. Money, really quick, did did that tome have pictures of any of the Ugoloths? It had like weird depictions, like artistic depictions of them. Okay. Uh, generally, the Arcana Loth was like a fox, like kind of like a weird foxy sort of form. Okay. And the Ultra Loth was kind of like, it, there's so many different pieces of art, you're not really sure what it looks like. It looks very strange and it's art, very terrifying. Uh, the Mesoloth, though, had a very clear depiction. Obviously, someone, I mean, based on Barnaby, jo uh, Barnaby Jones, Barnaby Black having a head. People Barnaby have obviously studied. Jones. Sorry. Obviously, people have probably run into these more frequently, so they're able to study them a bit more. So, okay. That, that yeah. was important for this investigation. You watch as uh, Tombstone, as she's known as, kind of like crosses her arms in front of her and looks down to you a little, a little annoyed, just more like, obviously, this isn't a business thing, so she's not sure how much she cares about it. What do you want? Uh, Miss Tombstone, I presume. Mm. Uh, my name is Remus Corbeau, and on behalf of the council, we are here to investigate a murder that took place at this establishment. I believe I contracted that out to a Barnaby Black. Are you working on his behalf now? We are indeed. I have the documentation. You watch as K just kind of like leafs through some bags and kind of presents it to her. And like Tombstone kind of just looks at her and just like, like without breaking eye contact on you, Remy, gently like reaches down and grabs the note and then slowly her eyes turn to the paper as she oh looks down God, at she's it. She's like Kowalski. I love this. <laughs> Real she quick, Detect Magic is still on. Yep. She's completely normal. She kind of mm. licks her thumb right. and flips through. Do you mind if I really quick brush over what Primeval Awareness does? for like a quick hot second. You can click the button and it puts it up in the thing for me if you want to do that. Yes, I'd like to do that. Let's do that, yeah. So that's for one minute, okay. At this point, it's definitely been beyond one minute. Yeah, but the fact that like Tass looks like he has like fucking red eye is telling. Mm -hmm. it's got, there's something here. Yeah. She kind of looks at it and she hands it back to Kay and like readjusts her eyes with her and she kind of like leans up against the wall a little bit because it's kind of like a weird nook area you guys are hanging out in. She kind of leans up and you watch as she kind of like reaches into her pocket and she pulls out a pipe and just kind of starts stuffing it. Kind of licks her thing and just kind of like lighting it and she's like, all right, what do you want to know? Can you tell us what happened? At least what you were able to find? She looks at the front door and she goes, can we go somewhere more private, respectfully? Of course. Certainly. I would assume a place like this has plenty of those rooms. <laughs> Before we continue, gentlemen and lady, I just want to omit some rules here as you enter the Romansion in this sort of fashion. The We're secrets listening. Of, the secrets of the Romansion are heavily guarded by Rufus Crumblebum, and we will find you, no matter where you run, if you start to expel our secrets to the public. We do this with respect to the law. She looks towards Kay. But just know this, and the information I provide you does not leave this place. Our business here is strictly professional. Good. Then there will be no problems. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm being quiet, more or less. Kind of looks over to you. You're a chicken wing boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's oh, awesome. oh, 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 oh. You have a title oh, here. Oh, hold on. Yes, I am, ma'am. Forky says with a smile on his face. Bam. Last person, a... to order, last person to order that many chicken wings were two Goliaths. Borky's got a plaque up on the fucking second floor over the bar. I... Chicken man. They were delicious. Here at the Romansion, our utmost thing are four philosophies. Comfort, satisfaction, and safety. Oh, yeah, and making money. That's the last one. We kind of glaze over that point. <laughs> I was about to like, kind of curl this finger up and was like, ah, okay. Of course, cleanliness, I think, this place is the money one at this point, but that's beyond the point. Anyway, if you're going to be here, especially investigating, we're going to have to really reveal some secrets to you. Secrets that we would not like our competitors to know about. You have competition? So, Who's competing with you? I was about to say. Well, there are other escort places beyond Elevas. I guess that's fair. Oh. You guys got like a party boat, right? That would be Rufus Crumblebum's party boat, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I heard someone say on the side of it, it says, if these boats are rocking, please knock. Chana looks and he goes, <laughs> it would be a very good slogan. I'll send that to Mr. Crumblebum. 
Anyway, one of our escorts was killed the other night. We were told the name was Diamond. Yes, Diamond. She was a very nice girl. It's very unfortunate. She was a new hire. She was another elf we brought in. She came uh, in from Turcadia. What was her background? What did she do before coming to the Romansion? She worked at the Romansion in uh, Turcadia capital for a little bit. Uh, this is a branching know. operation, then. Oh, yes, absolutely. There's, there's Romansions throughout the entire world. Yeah, we know. Man, it's a franchise. Hell yeah. yeah, we, yeah it's a we saw one, remember? I, I kind of do don't. I'm sorry. I, I kind of don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I understand it might be difficult, but do you have any details on the way she died? We found an arm in the bathhouse. What does that tell you? Mm. I see. Mm. Uh, Porky looking what around. Did... Who, whose arm? <sighs> the victim's Borky. Thank you. Were you able to tell if it was severed by a blade or perhaps by some kind of creature that had claws or fangs, perhaps? We have shown it to the guard, but we have kept it here to see if it loved ones want it or not. Do you want to take a look at it? I can show it to you. Yes, you also, please. Would you like to speak with the patriarch as well? Any witnesses that you have that either found the body or saw something or believe they saw something would be very beneficial. Also... Possible access to her room would be good as well. We can look into that as well. Her room specifically, we found her body, or lack thereof, in the bathhouse. But you want the room that she works in. Any place that she's been. We're, okay. we're, aware, we're aware that things are, things are watching through scrying and other various spells. So Notable. anywhere she's been. Okay, multiple. All right. Follow me this way. You watch as she walks up to a wall and just opens the wall. Oh. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's one of them secrets we can't tell anybody. Yep. Come on in. Workers tunnels. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Greckles and, and Panic, notably, you guys recall that escorts just randomly showed up in your room somehow. Oh. oh. So, it's one of the features. Uh, nice. They never... They, they never come through the front door. They always come through a secret Noted. entrance. So they're always they're already there when you go into your room. Okay, that yeah. actually could lead to a lot of problems, though. Secret yep. tunnel. Secret, secret tunnel. tunnel. To my dick. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right, you guys, make it through the tunnels, which are actually not super tight. They're kind of tight, narrow, like like width base, but even even the Goliath, you know, who you have ahead of you is having our, like an easy enough time. Borky, you're walking sideways. It's it's you got a ah. bit of a wideness to you. Oh, you this, this, this is unfortunate. My nips are catching every single divot. You guys eventually make your way into a very surprisingly large lounge area you've never seen before. Uh, it appears to be like a sort of like green room, like a, the equivalent of like a theater green room in a way. Mm. There's oh. just various outfits hanging on different hangers. There's like different vanities of varying degrees. So there's this is for the couches. performers. Yeah, this is for the Got this it. is for the escorts. Okay. Um, there's like piles of food randomly, and like yes. not like like oh dainty nice food you'd find like like junk food equivalent. Sure. Um, you see that there is currently like in a very loose sort of like dress, like currently just like thumbing through a book is like a really 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 tired, uh, looking another human. It's currently like licking her her like her her tongue and like reading through. It looks like to me it's a romance novel that she's reading through. Is it one uh, that, uh, no, never, mind. <laughs> never mind. It's forbidden horns. Yeah. Ah, yes! Oh my God. <laughs> Why are they uh, forbidden? You see currently sitting at one of the vanities is princess who is one of your escorts. Greckles currently mm -hmm. just kind of like combing her face and kind of poofing up her little, little side fur, just making herself look really, really nice. Um, you also see there are men here as well. Um, you see that there are three dwarves that are currently, like, at the moment, just kind of cleaning up in general. Uh, one of them just like, I, I found a full one! Aye! And he just start popping open. They start taking swigs of this really, really nice wine. Um, <laughs> you see a, like, currently, a, what looks like a Northlander human kind of, like, skimming through costumes. And he's, like, putting away this really, like, really over-the-top, like, barbarian wolf costume. He's kind of, like, hanging it up and, like, skimming through <laughs> other ones. Uh, <laughs> And you do see currently Zeus uh, hanging out on the couch, just kind of like sleeping at the moment, just kind of like, like snoring. 
Aww. Beyond that, oh, you also see the straightforward good time. They're in the corner. Yeah. Standing. Hey! Sort of finger crossbows. He watches, they turn back and they go, crossbow, crossbow, kind of doing a shooting motion back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And then they just kind of go back to their, their sort of neutral. It looks like they're probably in some sort of like rest state of some manner. All right. So you guys are in the Romantian back room. I take out the tuning fork. Okay. Oh. You take out the tuning fork. Um, uh, how long has it been since we left the tavern to this point? Oh, a while. Like 30, 30 minutes, if not like 40 minutes. Okay. An hour. I still have, I still have, oh. 35 to an hour? Yeah. All right. If, it, if it's been past an hour, then Detect Magic is no longer working. I'm going to say, yeah. Between the waiting time at the Romantian, getting there, and all the paperwork that Kay had to get the guy to sign, I'd say it's probably been an hour by now. Oh, for okay. sure. Yeah. I would probably then start ritual casting again. Okay. You kind of sit down on the floor and start blah, 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 going through like weird tongue stuff, and Kay just kind of goes, no, okay. Uh, um, well, you notice he's... that you notice that K is like completely like hidden behind the clipboard right now, like just like completely like avoiding <laughs> anything and just kind of like uh, you see visible sweat on her on her cheeks what? and face. Monty, one more insight check just to figure it out to put oh, the right, square peg around. in the square hole. Yeah, what? that's. Um, I need to. She can't. God damn it! <laughs> Could I? 20, also... That's going to be a twenty-three. <laughs> I would also Man, like this is to. A, this is a big Absolutely, room. go ahead. I'm gonna give you advantage, panic. Actually, on this. Just, okay. Just some good chicken wings. This crackles. Uh, 19. Dang, roll her. Oh. She rolled really well, actually, but she did not beat Bosco. So Remy. Yes. You notice as you walked in through the door, like she was kind of just like, 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 oh, you go first, and you kind of didn't leave, like, take your eyes off her for a second. The moment she sees Zeus. She's hiding behind that clipboard. <laughs> you notice. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, more, more fun sounds that, <laughs> that Panic totally made that one time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Remy is going to lean down, notice that Kay is, is very distracted, and he's going to very quietly in her ear. Uh, Lady Kay. Uh, yes, notes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, if you could focus, we have a job to do. I can assure you, no one's going to judge you. Okay, yeah, no, no, job, job, we gotta do a job, job. She's right, you just look over and she's writing job, 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 job over and over again. <laughs> uh, he's then gonna turn to Miss Tombstone. Miss Tombstone, have any of your escorts come forward with any information? I don't want to bother all of them with the generalization if we don't have to. Uh, I would talk to Zeus. He says there's been some strange behavior with some guests. Does Remy know that you guys have history with Zeus? No. He wasn't there. No. He wasn't no, well, there when you guys. No. no, but we would love you guys. We would love you to find out, though. We would. Uh... All right, Remy's going to approach this Zeus person <laughs> and motion for people to follow him. He's like he's wearing like he. You've never seen this man wear. I mean, you, did, you actually no. I lied. You saw him wear a shirt once, and he hated yeah. it. Yeah, but yes. yes. Yeah, he's currently shirtless. Uh, just got like, 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 like whatever the sweatpant equivalent would be in this world. Like legs kind of cross, arms cross, head thrown back on like a really nice velvet pillow. He's, he's like, he's like on this on this couch sort of thing. He's just kind of like, panic. Do you want to do it? Uh, have I finished casting detect magic? No, I think he already uh... did Greckles. It takes a minute to reach. I think it takes like ten minutes to do it. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. So you want to stand there awkwardly. Okay. You know what? No. Then fuck it. Task will knock the tuning fork on his kneecap. Uh, as you hit it, absolutely no sound, and he's just like, uh, mm, kind of wipes his eyes and sits up. Well, Excuse at least me. Now know that. Excuse me, sir. Are you Zeus? Mm. You kind of you watch as like he goes from being like oh, I'm awake to. Hello, like immediately, like, just kind of like <laughs> one eighty, yeah, complete one eighty, and kind of runs his hand across his bald head and turns. He goes, "I might be who's asking." Uh, my name is Remus Corbeau. He's going to extend a talon for like a handshake. Uh, we are here investigating a murder. You watch as he reaches up and he grabs your claw and kind of very firmly shakes it and kind of pulls you close to it, like a little closer, just kind of like a little test of strength. Remy's going to uh, attempt to resist it, not to like uh, struggle roll, with him, but roll an athletics check. Let's okay. Say. Oh God. 
Oh, Are you okay. strong, Burb? Oh, here we go. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> He's Sponge Burb. You guys I'm tie actually. Burb. All he right. Got, he got an eleven too. So he basically like like he kind of pulls you in a little bit. Not not crazy. Yep. And he just kind of leans up and goes, "I like a man in uniform." And lets you go. Kind of gives him a smile. You son of a bitch. You watch as he kind of spans around. He sees the rest of you. He goes, "Well, well, well." And you watch as he sees K. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> panic. Oh, have you I know finished casting computer? now? Yeah, at this point you're like, you cast and you're like, eh, and you turn over. Oh, hey, handsome. Nice to see you again. Oh, I see. Here on business, unfortunately. My business or yours? Mm, both. Uh, Mr. Seuss, we're looking into the murder of one of your compatriots, Diamond. We were hoping you could maybe give us some information about something oh. you have seen. Yeah, of course. You kind of watch his, uh, I'm going to say roll an insight on him. Okay. Everybody. Everyone can roll an insight. Everyone. Okay. Yay. That's going to be another 23. Michael Jordan in the house. And 24. Bork Six continues to roll. Because of our past intimacy. <laughs> four. <laughs> squeezes some advantage out of this. Borky uh, with a dude, four. You Borky. can read his body language. <laughs> Borky with that wild ass four. <laughs> Borky's just like, I, I don't know where we're here. Uh, chicken wings, chicken wings, <laughs> chicken wings. Forky, there's a full chicken costume as you watch the the. the <laughs> oh no! Don't do this, Lottie. Lottie. All right, he That's will wear rich. that. Don't don't do this. Borky, it's like it's like it's like a. Oh god damn it! Let me explain this. Uh, maybe it's because of guys and dolls. But like you know, like they did like I love you, a bushel of pack. Like that sort of like like a sort of like cabaret. Oh, I know. He'll still wear it. Yeah. He'll still wear it. Like I chicken was, costume. I thought this was like big bird levels of no. chicken suits. No, no. I, 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 I thought the gobbledygooker. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was, <laughs> the, I was thinking taste. that fucking doll that you squeeze and it screams at you. Jesus Borky's no. just staring at it and just not <laughs> it's, moving. It's got a head and everything. It's like a little hat you wear. Oh, By the way, as as Borky stares at it, his it, it, it slowly focuses in more and more, and a ringing increases in his ear. That's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Right. So 13 from Panic. Panic, you're a little, um, little smitten. You haven't seen him in a while. Unless, and... unless I manage to squeeze advantage out of him because I can read <laughs> his body language. Oh, he no, read your body, buddy. He's, he's, he's Zeus. He's rest. kind of... When it comes to this relationship, he's definitely a little bit more... Uh, a little more experienced, no offense. Uh... All right. Out of all of you, unfortunately, even Taz, I'm sorry, rolled 17, um... Greckles, you notice, like, he's, like, looking at Panic, and he's just like, oh, Panic. Like, he's got this sort of look to Panic mm -hmm. where he's just like, oh, it's a fun thing. Panic is very interesting and, and a lot of fun. When he looks at K, there's kind of, like, a mixture of both, like, like happiness in the same sort of way, but also, like, a nervousness. Like, sort of like a mm -hmm. like a trepidation in a weird way. Uh -huh. um, you do notice the occasional glance as K is, like, completely, like, avoiding him. Uh, but he kind of he chronic crosses his leg and he kind of pats on the on the couch. He goes, "Go ahead, you're sort of employees here now temporarily. It seems like, isn't that uh -huh. right, Tombstone?" Tombstone just kind of blows her pipe and goes, "Go to hell." And he's like, "Yeah, all right." <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic dynamic that you have here, Zeus. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we get on each other's nerves. We do get along though. We just kind of like a rib each other, don't we? Yeah, but and Tombstone. <laughs> Kind of knocks the the pipe and kind of gives him this little side glance with this resting bitch face and just kind of rolls her eyes and kind of walks over and sits down on the couch and leans back too. That's fair enough, but just how well do you know your compatriots? I mean, we don't really work with each other too often. And he kind of turns and looks to you, Greckles, like almost peering through you and to panic a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> In any case. You watch as Kay kind of lowers the clipboard and just kind of has this look of like, what? And then just kind of goes back behind the clipboard again. Just, anyway. Just shrugs. So we have money to spend. <laughs> we, have, we, we, have, we have no reason to believe that Diamond's murder was just a complete fluke. We're looking for possible reasons as to why. Mm, Do you know of anyone true. that might have had a vendetta against her? No, I mean, she was only making friends now. I mean, like, we got along with her. She's a very sweet girl, very quiet generally, had her hobbies, but didn't really bother anyone. What, what kind of hobbies? Well... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hobbies? <laughs> We all like <laughs> hobbies. Yeah, 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 okay. I was just gonna say, how well did how well did you know her? Oh, Jesus Christ! 
myself. Uh, I mean, I helped train her, but beyond that, I didn't know her that well. Didn't get any hobbies or... Kind of just his head towards Tombstone, and she kind of blows the pipe, and she goes, ah, she was into, what was it, when you make glasses to drink out of? Not glasses, but like the clay ones. Pottery? I pottery. think it was pottery. Mm. Yeah. She was part of a little pottery guild. It was a hobbyist little thing. But she seemed to like it. Okay. Uh, who who frequent uh who out of everyone else here apart from Zeus, who else frequented uh her in in her the work environment? Um, I think she was a solo hider, wasn't she? And Zeus is like, yeah, she's only solo. That was on her contract, so. In terms of actual escort job, it would be just her. But in terms of her other work, then it would be probably the uh, the girls who run the the masseuse parlor. This is going to sound very intimate, but I need to. I, this might be good for the investigation. Who has she been with in the last b- before her murder? It turns towards Tune, so she says, "I'll pick up her ledger." And she just gets up and disappears for a little bit, and you watch her disappear into like another room, what you assume mm-hmm. is an office of some kind. And uh, while, you're, while uh, she fetches that, another question. Have you, or for that matter, anyone else in this room, noticed anything weird or unusual going on within these walls? I think there was one thing that was rather weird. We've had a few complaints lately of mm-hmm. guests feeling unwell the following morning. Unwell Where exactly? How? Did... I... Yeah. The premium suite, a few of the standard suites... Notably, it's mostly been guards, um, warrior types, generally. But we've this, looked at the this rooms. Screams... We haven't I'm, seen I'm, anything. I'm sorry. I, I look over to Remy. This screams vying for military secrets. Yes, yes, it does. We've dealt with something like this before, guys. Can... Uh, is it po- once we figure out this paperwork of who she's been with? I'd like to see the worker tunnels that lead to the to the area where these people are feeling this. Would you like to see the bathhouse as well, where she, you know? Yes, and any sort of evidence, any physical evidence of the body you have still remaining, I'd like to see as well. Yeah, we can do that. Let's just wait for Tombstone to come back. She likes to take her time. She's probably refilling her pipe. Oh. You they kind of wait for these few moments, and you watch as some of the uh, some of the escorts kind of like like uh, princess come by and she goes, "Oh, hello!" When she kind of looks towards you, Greckles, and gives you a little little wave, and she goes, "I'm going to start working in the cleaning tubs now." And you watch as Zeus goes, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead." She's like, "Do you need me for anything?" And she's like, "Uh," it kind of turns to you guys. Do you need anything from Princess before she runs off? Actually, Princess, if you don't mind me asking, how well did you know Diamond? Not very well. We've never really worked. She worked a different shift than me, so we tend to... She used to pick up my slack is the sort of joke we make. So, unfortunately, I don't know. Hey, I'm Monty. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, I want... I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not really keen on Tombstone just walking away and taking this long. I want to look in the direction where she went off to. Okay, roll a perception. I mean, the door is closed, so... I mean, you see it's just a closed pissed. door. In yeah. the mean shack, Monty, I I hate to burn it, but I feel like rolling insight for almost everything that's said in here is important. Okay, but... you want to roll insight on just generally Princess's demeanor, yeah. what she's like. I mean, you, you, you had a night with her, so you kind of know her a little bit, so go ahead. I might as well interrupt, too. Uh... Oh, damn it, I cannot insight tonight. Wait, she seems like she's off to do her job. That's all you okay. can really do. Uh... How thick are the walls in uh... here? And silly question, I, I need to know for bathroom reasons, when shall we be having our break? In two seconds here. Yeah, okay. So the wall thickness, very thick. This is a solid stone building. Uh, we're really well insulated and really, like, you you thought you knew the romantic because on the surface level, it's like, oh, little, little cute little hotel place. You see in the first floor, the second floor, the first floor. This is the basement. And the basement stone? seems to be big. Stone. Yeah, solid stone. Stone walls. Uh, can you give me precise measurements of how thick the walls would be? Oh, like the entire crust of the earth. Like, thick. It is It is More than a hard. foot, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, this right. is this is, like, carved into the ground, into the Detect stone. Detect magic will not penetrate that. Yeah, so in this room, though, you detect a little bit of magic, obviously the vanities, things like that, uh, but nothing that seems out of the ordinary. So no, like, illusion spells or anything like that, if that's what you're looking out for. Yeah, I'm... Specifically, I was trying to 
see what ha what was happening beyond that door since it hey, caught riddles. Hey, hey guys, when, when Tombstone comes back with the paperwork, let Tass take it, because I want a sleight of hand hit her hand with the uh, fork. What's Fair your enough. sleight of hand at? Five. May, you want me to do it? May, may. It's at nine. Mine's at nine. Sure, I'll pass it to you then. A actually, oh, that okay. would make sense because Task, you could distract her by going for the paperwork you, and then Task. As yeah. you hand off the tuning fork and you see Miss Tombstone enter with a, with a decently long sheet, we're going to take a break here because I can tell Kurt needs to use the bathroom really badly. Really badly, yeah, well, fine. <laughs> okay. Big me too. Everybody go do your thing. I'm going to stay here with the chat. What's up, chat? How's it going? I'm going to be out here chilling. This is what I do. This is where I shine is during the intermission. Ah, there they are. Hey, guys. What up? Yes, I am having fun today, Citric. Thank you for asking. Ah, here come all the Boscos. Going good, going good. Can't complain. <laughs> Sorry to hear Remy had his pride murder. No, it's all good. Don't worry about it, Pupasa. People are excited for the MLP thing. I'm glad. I'm glad. It should be fun. I do have to shine at some point. Thank you, Daff. I don't. Call, I don't call or write. Yeah, I'm a terrible. I'm a terrible date. How would I play a lizard folk? Uh, like Lizard Man from Soul Calibur. I will strengthen the soul of Lizard Man. Sword and shield. I know. Thank you, Point. I appreciate you guys siding with Borky. I, I figured. I figured. Sam, I'm so sorry you have to go through an MLP campaign. I mean, I don't have to, but I will. <laughs> Cancel talk. I stand with Bosco. Oh, dear. K and Zeus sitting in a tree. That's a word I won't spell out. A uh, hundred bits from Burnout Vaughn. If you ever have a con booking in Missouri, you have to let me know. I owe you a straight edge equivalent of a drink. Uh, you should get me a Second City Saint. Uh, what it is is uh, Aquafina out of the bottle, and you put it on the rocks, and I'll have a couple of Second City Saints with you. So that'll work. Here we go. Any idea what kind of character you will play next week, Bosco? Not a flipping clue. And I probably won't think about it till the day off, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> uh, shut up, Monty. <laughs> Zeon, one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Thank you for giving me the strength to become a DM, as well as thank you, Zito, for the awesome conclusion to the TFS archive. I'm sure Zito would appreciate that if he was here. He'll probably come back right as I finish reading that. Nope, that sounds like Gaijin. Okay, I'm here. Yep. Uh, Dante the Outlet with 700 bits. First time I am bit dropping. Well, thank you, Dante. Thank you all uh, for providing me and my friends and my family two-ish years of entertainment and also for inspiring me and my brother for getting into D&D. The show has gotten me through hard times as well, so thank you so much. Dude, thank you for tuning in. And or madam. I can't tell. I assume dude. Uh, I always see his dude is kind of that sort of neutral term. If you That's why I stick with it, because I never want to be that guy who uses the wrong pronoun. Yeah. Uh, Andor, thank you for the tier one subscription. Nine months PF triple A entertainment may come many more in the future. Hello, I'm back. And don't oh, worry, hi. Remy. Don't worry, Remy. You're a royal to me. Aw. And that's where you go. A royal pain in the arse. I mean, Man, you have low self-esteem. <laughs> I most certainly, Remy most certainly does not have low self-esteem. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five hundred bits. If tieflings are the LaCroix of friends, of fiends, are Azamar the LaCroix of celestials? Oh, God. Thank, thank you, defective, defective sheep. For the 500 bits. Zeon, thank you for the bits as well. Oh, and, okay. Oh, right. would you want to keep going? You having fun? No, it's fine. You we do, do your have thing. a little bit of time because I got to do something. Really and I see fast. Briz with a thousand bits. You, I can't think of a better show to watch leading into my birthday. Now, go catch that. You go, Loth. You go, Loth. Go, Loth. Go, Loth. God, I hate it when I start typing in Roll20 and it kicks me out. Oh, 
Yeah, and well, Icy Briz, thank you for the 1,000 bits. 100 Aww. bits from Elated Megalodon. If it makes you feel any... Thank you very much for the 100 bits, though. Queen Elfie won with the 1,500 bits. So happy to catch this live for a change. I really enjoy Remy very much. Borky is a shit for what he said. He is. He is. We all know. I was so proud of that. I'm like, oh, this is going to hurt Bosco, but he's also going to respect <laughs> it as an actor. <laughs> yep. Bosco, I need you to lean into this gunshot as well as you can. <laughs> Not so good, dude. You're going to get... I know also, you're gonna, Queen Elfie to, won. Seriously. To answer your question, Deluna, Chicago was great. I love being home. I've, I got to be there most of the past three weeks, so that was that was a lot of fun. Hell yeah, man. You miss home? What did Queen Elfie one say? Uh, I absolutely miss home. I miss the food. I miss my family. I miss the city. I miss the snow. I miss a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the one thing I don't miss from New York, though, is the snow. Thank do you, James. Uh, I don't miss shoveling the flipping mm -hmm. snow. I do mm -hmm. miss the actual snow. Uh, I would also like to, uh, Queen Elfie one, thank you for the 1500 bits. Viral Tech one. This is a Dankin Rapa level of, this is Dankin Rapa levels of investigation. We need the atmospheric background music. 500 bits from Viral God. Tech one. Uh, D. Hansk, thank you so much for the four month resub. Uh, Napa's nipple clamps. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Napa's, nice. Ni Napa's nipple clamps. Haven't got a live stream in a while, so have some bits from Napples nipple clamps. Napa's, not na Napples. Ah, beans. Five, two thousand bits, thank you. Napa's nipple clamps. Pyrotherian with a thousand bits. Across all your tabletop campaigns, what item would you say is your favorite? Magical, science fiction, or mundane? Oh my, my. Ma my favorite magical weapon, like item in general will always be the, the scroll of cure blindness because it makes me laugh every time. Ah, shit! <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I, I think mine was a, a homebrew one that I made, which was uh, Philip's Guys, which was pretty much, it's a ring that can let you transform into a goat and disguise yourself in the middle of the field. Huh. Anyone else? Got it, 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 <laughs> um, honestly, it's not a favorite, but what I was able to do with it, I had a ring of meld stone, and there was an old 3.5 uh, class that lets you have a pet elemental of whatever element you want. And my DM explained that if you melded with your elemental, you took it over. So I essentially had a medieval mech. Not bad. Oh, nice. This is my first. I, you melt it's my first okay, campaign, sorry. so I got nothing. <laughs> Uh, Lusume, thank you for the bits. Uh, Trainer Shoshiro, thank you for the bits. Crypt Excited, thank you for the bits. Emon Tizzle with 500 bits. Emon Tizzle. My lord, my goodness. Gorm is wrestling now. So question for everybody. Have any of you tried Mass Builders Beta? It's very fun. Also, here's hoping your night goes well. Now, I lurk. M-A-S-S, -S, period, after each one. Uh, I believe that is an abbreviation. Uh, never heard of it. Uh, not... Mass, mass Builder is an indie game where you build your own, like, Gundam-type mech and beat the shit out of things. Oh, oh okay. My, the one... Oh, okay. That, mm. I played something similar to that, but I, for the life of me, I forgot what the fuck the name of it was. Yeah. And Skyblaze71325, thank you for the 200 bits as well. Monty, are you good to go? Nope. Okay, and Slayers, I'll be holders, thank you for the bits as well. Do, have you... Did you need to go? By the way, there, what? Bosco, you've been here the whole time. No, I'm I'm good. I I took my bathroom break while you made me wait an hour to role play. Ah, I got you in. I wonder where Remy is. Remy's did you? There. Did did you? I feel like that was Monty feeling bad for me. No, no, I genuinely was like, okay, this has been like 45 minutes. Where the fuck is Remy at? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I mean, just... I don't think Monty or myself expected you guys to spend 45 minutes at the fucking inn. No, it's just what happens when we have this one. You could say it was unexpected. Ah! I, I will mm. kick you in the dick. He will. <clears throat> uh, Rainbow me, Snack, thank you so much for the 200 bits. First time, ca first time catching live in a while. Oh, well, I hope you've been enjoying the live show, everybody. Uh, this, again, a massive thank you to so, so many people. To Blackfoot Ferret, Pyrotherian, Queen Elfie One, Napa's Nipple Clamps. There's a lot of people dropping subs and bits. It is Naomi incredible. Moon, thank you for the Tier 1 subscription. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, thanks, back. Naomi. All right, well, are you good to go, everybody? Connor, you here? Mm -hmm. Let's rock and roll. All right. I will have to quietly eat because I'm starving and I had you to, need us to buy you a couple more minutes. Just fucking shovel the handful of uh, frosted flakes into my mouth. I'm ready Monty, to go. Monty, do you want us to buy you a couple more minutes while no, you no, eat? No, no, I'm just okay. I'm just preparing my juice box for consumption. And I'm to go. <laughs> that is a way Why to say that. Why are you laughing? That. That's a, a way to say that. Also, Vince Moksanji, thank you for the 100 bits episode title. Napa, no, no, just no. 
Just, no, no, I'm not reading right. it. No. Everyone's back. We're all good. You're, 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 you're right to avoid it. All righty. So uh, as Tombstone comes back, uh, she like perplexedly like carries a very small piece of paper and she hands it to you guys, and she kind of, kind of like taps out her her, her pipe. She's kind of smoking for now. I'm a, I'm gonna got... try and tap her really quick with a slide of hand with that tuning fork. And task right, is ahead. task is aiding him. So does does he get advantage on this? Since it's distracting, uh, it's not something you can really. Because uh, like, if, for example, like, hey, is, show me these papers while he goes. What tap. is what is task doing to distract her? Is Going over the doing? list with her, being like, okay, can you explain how this all works? Like that. Yeah, kind of like thing. pretty much. What's the bureaucracy of this list? Sure, go ahead. I'd say, yeah, go ahead with advantage, slated hand. Woo! Uh, 22. Not that you needed it. Uh-huh, that's sure. Or, like, though. garbage, you're fine, yeah. <clears throat> okay. You gently, ping, not a single thing. Okay. okay. Ooh. She puts the list in front of you, goes, she does not have very much because she was not here for that long, unfortunately. These are all of the escorts she had over the period of being here for about... A month and a half. Uh, oh. Inside is the diamond escort ledger. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. So now, real quick, uh, which one on this list is the most current? Laszlo Arkvane. The one at the bottom is. So Terry Allwind. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So it goes in order. So the beginning was the first escort, and then at the end was the last uh, one. Okay. Could you give me a little bit more information on who this Terry Allwin is? I believe I remind you that comfort and security is one of the philosophies we have. We do not take patron information that we do not need. Well, you one said of... which, one, which one was the most occurring on this list, right? Yeah, it looks like the most occurring is only it one is... person, which is Laszlo, who's come in twice. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Mm. So you ask more about him? Ask more about Laz Laszlo? Yeah. Well, she's not budging on giving us any information. Kay, mom, can you bully your way? Can you Karen your way into this? Wow. Do you, do you look Do you look towards Kay? I checked online, and there's one in the back, it says. <laughs> oh, oh, I know that hurt. That physically hurt Monty, but... I, you want to know why You that, have to understand. You, I just You want to know cringed. why that hurts me out of, out, of, out of the game for a second? It's because we don't have a back at my store. Oh, I, oh no, that uh, happened to me, too. No, we don't have a no. back, but I got Karen super hard in retail. No, I, we did have a back when I worked retail, oh. and that was, like, the most common thing. It's like, well, it said there was one, and I'm like... Anyway, Mother. anyway. No, this is the next hour of this podcast. <laughs> I just need to if vent. You look at, if you look at Kay, Kay kind of looks back and like, like kind of looks forward and she takes a list from you, Tass, and she kind of looks at <clears> it <throat> and she goes, there are some guards on here. Uh, guards? Wait. Yeah, I recognize Bruce Kellum. He's a, a guard. He's a, he's a wall guard at the uh, middle, middle to high district. Okay. Uh, and you watches her face like she, she like scrunches her fingers in and the paper goes as she pulls herself in and you watch her eyes just kind of narrow and she looks really pissed off. Borf is on here. Oh, yeah. Borf and Biffelstein. Yep. Sometimes I think you guys are just making these names up because I can't read. She said Laszlo, the person who's on there twice as a guard? No, he's not. No? No, uh, he's Bruce. not. Bruce Kellum is. And Bruce Kellum, sorry. Borfin Biffelstein is also a guard. Specifically, Borfin who works Biffelstein? with Kay. Yeah, Borfin Biffelstein. Okay. Have any of them reported, or have you heard of them reporting about what they've been feeling is a little weird? Zeus kindly goes, none of these people know. Mm. The fact that Laszlo <laughs> is on here twice, that's a little suspicious. Not that that's suspicious. We do have reoccurring customers. You watch as Zeus kind of looks over to you, Penny goes, you'd know about that. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone hear anything unusual the night of the murder? Um, they both kind of looked at each other and shrug. Not really. She was in the bath, which is very private, so unfortunately, it's quite isolated. Customers. Customers aren't allowed in the employee baths? No, not at all. It is our place to bathe and clean and do what we need to. Hmm. I, th I think and it would you be... can confirm that that is where this occurred. 
That's where we found the arm. I'd where like to find... investigate there. Absolutely. Hold on. You, you, you said you found an arm. Where, where is the rest of the body? We do not know. I see. Hmm. <sighs> okay, before the room, then, I'd like to investigate the arm. Very well. We'll grab the box. Remy, do you think that she might still be alive? If all they found was an arm, can we even confirm that she died? Or is something more nefarious happening here? It's too I'm... early to tell. Once I get a good look at the arm, I should be able to tell what severed it. Gentlemen, I'm a little paranoid about something, but I want to at least pass this on to you. I like kind of like huddle everyone in together while they're getting the arm and everything. Zeus kind of huddles in too, just like wanting to be included. No, no, he's out. Keep him out. Zeus, uh, oh. Zeus if Keep I may out. ask you to please step back, this is a very private matter. Yes. Of course. He walks over to Kay and starts talking to her. Guys. Oh. Not to take away from everything, but what's the over under on us getting that uh, that one uh, uh, that one outfit over there for the for the Orky, Orky, for the for Orky. the case? For the it's case. looking it's looking under Orky. right now, big guy. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. This place is so stimulating. A thought just crossed my mind, and I'm not sure if I'm crazy or if it's actually a valid situation. Remember the imp we saw this morning? Yeah. Um, and the fact that it didn't die, yeah. like it didn't it didn't pass on when it was dead, and we only found one of the body parts here. What if, and I'm sensing immense fiendish activity in this entire location. I can't pinpoint it, but what if this person also has material realm syndrome? I mean, maybe. Would you be able to tell where it is resonating from if we got you closer to it, or is it just a general sense? <sighs> that would take me a lot of investigation, but it's a start. Hmm. Suppose the hand was severed by something fiendish. Would that set off your senses? What if, hold on, what if the arm itself is fiendish? That and... is the other concern. Diamond is a relatively new employee, if I remember the information correctly, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. We've got, way, we've got ways of testing that if it works on non-living tissue. I would be curious to know when Diamond started working here and how that syncs up with the guards not feeling well, if you catch my drift. Right. Could I do some sort of thing to see if uh, creatures can drain, like vitality out of people through, you know, uh, the stuff. <laughs> sure, yeah. Go ahead and roll a, I don't know, arcana check. I guess that'd be kind of like a spell effect. I oh, suppose. so like if she was actually a succubus in disguise? I mean, yeah. We, oh, you had to we, go out and we, say we, it, didn't you? <laughs> we're, <laughs> well, it, we're, dancing, so, uh, we're all adults here. Above game, I, I think we all have an idea that that is one of the things it could be. Whether or not yeah. in game we know, it's a completely different story. Right. We're we're interacting a lot with different types of fiends, like rapid yeah. fire. So, uh, Arcana check is going to be. Come on, be good, be good, be good. Nine. Nine. I mean, there's spells that do it. False life. There's other siphony kind of spells. Um, I think, did you guys ever run into something that did that? I feel like you did at some point. No, my friends did. Never mind. They had to suffer through that. Yeah, no. we we never oh. had anything that did that. Yeah, no, I mean, you know that there are spells that exist. You know a lot of those spells are super fucking illegal because they're necromancy spells. Um, mm. But generally, like, maybe you have no idea. Can I? I mean, it's, it's broad. Can I possibly do an intelligence check to piece together what the guards may have been going through compared to what all our, our employees were going through when we had that devil problem? Devil problem? What do you mean? The I'm one, really... the, the, okay, so uh, it was the... It was the the one Mel. Like oh, the Somalisk. That's right. Yeah. Um, that was yeah. Go ahead and roll a an intelligence. Actually, no. This would be religion for you, Reckles. Actually, where you do that. Okay. Religion. Uh, da, 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 da. Twenty-one. Okay. Much nice. better. Um, I'd say because your knowledge, you've been studying, you know, like Oran stuff. Mm -hmm. The Somalisk actually falls within Nox realm. It is a shadow creature. Specifically, it would fall under a demon, less of a devil, but still a possibility. Um, generally, the fatigue seemed to be a lack of sleep, uh, which maybe is a cause. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that did leave desecrated ground. So you could always see if you can find some way to find desecrated ground potentially and something tells me in this entire vicinity that if i am feeling fiendish activity there's got to be one sacred ground around here somewhere 
Yeah, but who can find it? We don't really have any paladins with us. Yeah, we should have brought Doros with us. Good luck getting him in here. <laughs> All right, well, let's check out that arm then. We, yeah. we're, we're, we're making a lot of assumptions, but we don't actually have the evidence yet. Mm. All right. As you guys turn around, you currently see Kay and, and Zeus talking. And the moment you guys are done, Zeus kind of just does like a double take. Goes, oh, uh, yeah, and kind of walks back over. And Kay just kind of looks very weird expression on her face, just kind of like, like, mm -mm, like, like, as if she's like holding her breath like deep inside in some ways. Just in kinda... a bad way or in a good way? In insight. I was just gonna ask. Yeah. Can I? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 14. 14. 16. I guess I may as well as well. Uh, here I go. Oh, wow. Nine. No, I don't give a shit. Well, she rolled a natural one. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey. so her body. You watch as, like, Zeus walks away. She's just kind of like, no. Nah. This is when it puts her head in her hand. She's bright red. And just oh, kind of just sashays over. <laughs> All right. Do we, ha do we have a minute before uh, the hand comes back? Yeah, you see now that a Tombstone is actually opening the door and is now walking. Oh, well, over. then I will wait. Okay. She, she brings walk. over a, what looks like a, like, almost like a pillowcase wrapped around this figure. And you watch as she pulls out and very, very gently and very respectfully kind of undoes all the cloth and reveals a elf's hand. It's beautiful for what's there, but right kind of where the shoulder blade would meet the body is uh -huh. completely ripped asunder. Does oh, it look okay. like, like, it like, like her whole arm then? It's like yes. the arm and the shoulder blade that attaches it to like. Oh, I like got ripped off. Does, does it look like a clean cut with a blade, or does it look like it's a jagged edge of like a fang or a? Claw? That is a roll investigation. Sur yes. Oh, I was gonna say survival, but okay, I'll do investigation. Ah, oh, god damn it! I was about to say I'd like to help. Fourteen. Okay, you want to help Remy? Panic? I'll help Rem. I'll I'll assist Remy. Yes. Oh okay. boy, here Morgan's we go. Morgan's gonna do his own solo 11. investigation. Natural 20! Oh my god. Oh, really? Are you, are you serious? Brain blast. There we go. Brain blast. Borkin Borkin just is leans in with his with his his with his big old thumb and finger. Hmm. I mean, if anybody knows about severed limbs, it's probably Borky. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Probably, that's fair. Well, as, like, you guys are just like, oh, that's been torn off. And you're like, that's probably a serrated blade. And Borky just looks over and goes, that was bitten off. That was bitten the hell right off. Look at that right there. See, it looks like a blade went in, but there was a, still a tearing to it. So unless someone came at him with two hand blades, this person, this elf, this diamond, was it is in rough shape because it got eaten. Uh, okay. Okay. Notice, notably, it's the mouth is not huge. It looks like whatever did this probably ripped the, the arm off and then just started eating the end of it, or ate the body and then started eating. How it small left. are the bite marks? Uh, like slightly bigger than humanoid size. Would you say they fit the description of a cat-sized creature? No, no, much oh, bigger than man. that. Yeah. Uh, can I get the tuning fork, please? Absolutely, uh, yeah. go ahead. Here you go. Uh, I will first tap it on the hand. Nothing. I tap it near the bite mark. While, I'm sorry, while... That, that you... specific, well... to, to specify, that tuning fork specifically will show you people who are demons or devils it's not like it, it's not, it can't it. Re reveal whether it, was it can't reveal like, like any essence or anything oh no no i get that you I tap it it gives that. you its address actually it's nuts no dude i super get that but if there's any evidence of this creature still remaining on the arm that no one has been able to find yet then the, the fork technically we're doing, should go off we're doing forensic evidence testing is what you're yes. saying i mean the other thing too is they found this in the bath so it's been like yeah. Hey man, you never know. It's, yeah, it's you, you do. You do. You start. You start tapping it, and like Zeus and Tombstone kind of look at you a little perplexed. But they're like, "Ah, it's magic shit." And then eventually, While, nothing happens. Um, is 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 it just like Zeus, Tombstone in here? Other people moving around. While yeah. while Task is. While Task pulls out the tuning fork, I'm going to be looking around to see if anybody is watching us. Okay, go ahead and roll and say. I'd say for this, roll roll a perception check just to see if someone's watching you. Alrighty. I also do have detect magic on still. 
Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17. You do notice as you guys have been kind of talking and looking at the arm, a new person has entered the room. You see a, uh, a female dragonborn. Actually, sorry, no, a male dragonborn. Uh, a blue dragonborn. Uh, darker blue. Um, kind of walk in with a towel and kind of like wiping down his face and kind of walks in. Notices there's a huge gaggle of people on the couch sort of center most point and just kind of looks towards you guys a little quizzically. Roll insight check. I was just, oh, go ahead, Panic. This is all you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to assume this is more curiosity than so suspicion, either. but uh, nine. Nine? Yeah, oh it's my crap tonight. Probably just, probably just curiosity. Like, he just kind of looks and goes, and walks over to one of the vanities and starts, like, picking at his teeth. Just, like, uh, like cleaning them out. Sorry, one second. I will be right back. Continue on. I just got to move okay. right Okay, no worries. Um, um, no, you go ahead. I was no, just, you gotta. I, was, I have. We haven't. I, seen I was. That. This is all I you. was just thinking to myself. So go ahead. Um, having seen that arm, Remy would like to turn to look at who's in the room that he already knows is in there. Thus, probably seeing any new people. And I want to roll a perception check to see if there's anybody in the room who has uh, teeth that might match that. Okay. Um. Uh... I mean, from a distance, you can guess. If you wanted to really know, you'd have to investigate and get up close to people. But sure, just a general perception check. Okay. It's going to be a 13. I'm back. Okay. The thing that's the strangest to you, because you see the dragon where, like, maybe he did it, because he's got kind of, like, you know, yeah. serrated dragony teeth. But then you realize that no one in this room has a mouth as wide as these marks that that Borky has pointed out. Okay, so I'm very confident nobody in this room probably could have done that with their... Definitely their not human or any sort of humanoid that you could even think of. A bugbear that's, like, huge, maybe, but even then, that's a stretch. Okay. So none of these people were potentially charmed to do it, so that's what I was worried about. Um, no, okay, no. Uh, would you allow me to roll an Arcana check on the hand to see if there's any magical residue? Like, if there was anything cast or... Uh, un- panic has to detect magic and there's nothing okay got it at all uh, yeah shoot okay uh, who here has a high enough medical test uh medical check <laughs> maybe me i don't I have know two. Rickles. i have Rickles? one nope i got one yeah we it's don't me. have we don't have a wise person in our group <laughs> all right let me let me okay uh, okay he's right next to you guys all right. Well, can the I dead silence says everything. Can I, can yeah. I get K over? Yeah. Can I get K over here to run a medicine check and I'll assist? I got it. Uh, K. Uh, yeah. Could we borrow your expertise for a moment? Sure. Yeah, I can help. Uh, I'm going to motion towards the hand. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us about this, considering your skill set? Someone's helping her. I oh, will. Yeah. I will assist her. Yes. Okay. Ooh, that's not a good roll. That's much better. Uh, that's going to be. Uh... Okay, 18. That's not bad. Uh, she looks down and she kind of looks at it and she goes, well, obviously, um, the whole thing's intact, which is kind of impressive. And she kind of moves it. Definitely it's taken to rigor mortis. Um, not a lot of blood. And she kind of looks towards uh, Tombstone and uh, Zeus and just kind of leans forward and goes, uh, we found it in the bathtub, so, well, uh, you can assume where all the blood went. Uh, she kind of looks back down. Uh, Miss to Tombstone... Yes. Have you ever had an instance where a client joined one of your employees at these baths any time? No. We have some oh, rooms sorry. that have baths in them, but they generally are not the popular thing, so it's too much to manage with the water and the big tunnels and everything, so we don't okay. really do that anymore. Now, now don't, don't, you don't have to tell me where, but do you have magic cancellation or magical wards in any of these areas we have magical wards in each room for the patrons just for complete privacy but elsewhere no hey monty i have a really stupid fucking idea and i need i need i need a dm's guidance on this okay hunter's mark you would choose a creature that you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry uh you have advantage on wisdom perception and wisdom survival to find it if she is actually still alive, technically that means if I mark the arm, I can find the rest of the body. Is it a? It's just a creature, though. I think you have to have line of sight on what you're doing. I, I, yeah. I think I think the arm has has been demoted from 
creature to object at this point. Yeah, at this ah, point, unfortunately. Means. All right, I good idea though. It's a good idea, but I think it's a little bit too much, unfortunately. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Miss Tombstone. Do you have any sort of idea of how many people have gone in and out of the bath since you found that arm? No one. One person went in and we found it and we shut it all down. But before then, is it is it frequented that often by so many people? Or Well, after we're done work for the morning, we all, you know, if we want to, we go have a bath. Some people don't, some people do, most people do. But she was the last one working that day, so we didn't find the body until the morning. And I'm assuming that there's no kind of ledger for its use. The bath? No. Mm. This Laszlo Arkvian person was the last one to see her then. Mm, I thought no. that was Terry Allwind. Terry Allwind. He's yeah, a. Terry Allwind. He was like a sailor guy. He just seemed like kind of coming and then going. Oh. I. Oh, I was reading this list the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going from bottom to top for some reason. I don't know. Miss but... Tombstone, how long has Diamond been in your employ? About the month and a half. I see. And Zeus. Mm hmm. You watch, he's like pouring himself a drink and kind of looks over. Yeah. You mentioned various soldiers having weird side effects while they were staying here. How long have you noticed that? Uh, first complaint I think we had was maybe about three months ago. I see. It's occasional, but we definitely haven't had it before. So this predates dining then. Interesting. I'd like to investigate the pool area. Yeah, sure, I can take you. You watch this. Zeus kind of just slap, throws down like a little martini drink and kind of puts it... Ah. Do kind of stretches. Do we rebag the arm or do we bring the arm with us? Tombstone kind of just reaches over and goes, I'll put it away. I but, suppose you do not need me any longer for this investigation. Oh, money, real quick. Mm -hmm. Has it decayed very much? It definitely, it's been in the water, you can tell. It smells really bad. Um, but it's natural decay? Natural decay, yeah. Okay. Uh, considering there's new people in the room uh, before we leave, mm -hmm. is there anything anyone else would like to contribute to this before we leave? They all kind of like, they look kind of surprised and look back. And you watch as uh, Tunes kind of waits and goes, yeah, It's investigation for Diamond. And they all just kind of look together and goes, uh, The Dragonborn kind of steps up and goes, You're going to find who did this, right? We are that attempting would, to. That would be our goal. And anything you can offer would be greatly appreciated. Um, I believe it was. Um, did you tell them that it was uh, Maddox who found the body? Uh, sorry, who is this person that found the body? No, he is my roommate, Maddox. He's sleeping right now, but you could probably find him. I would very much like to speak with him, yes. Mm. Actually, if you all don't... Oh, to all the new people coming in, if the, all of you don't mind, Tass, can I see the fork? Yep, I gave it to him. I'm going to go and tap every single every single new person that's in here. Okay. You, do, you go up, you tap, nothing happens. All of okay. them are clean. Yeah. This Maddox is not an employee of the Romansion? No, 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 he is. Hmm. He's our lizard folk employer. Apologies, for putting the arm away. Employee or employer? Employee. Okay. okay. Oh, he's a lizard. Wait, folk doesn't employee. doesn't doesn't Greco's know Maddox? Yeah, you had Wait, Maddox. No. Yeah, I did. Yep. He was just kind of like your servant. Kind of. And who, food who did this Maddox inform when he found the body? Was that you, Miss Tombstone? No, it turns to this. It was me. Yeah. I see. Then you took that information where? To the guard immediately. And they investigated, found the body, or rather the arm, and it mm -hmm. proceeded from there. Yes, they just took a statement and... Do you remember who was part of that investigation? Oh, he kind of leans back and Kay goes, it wasn't us. Was it anyone on this list? Mm -hmm. Kay actually looks at the list because they wouldn't know. Kay looks and goes, nobody here. I mean... Bruce is a is a wall guard and, and Borf works the desk, so he he couldn't have been here. Okay. Um, you watch as uh, Tombstone kind of leans back right and goes, "There was this chipper man with a tall hat and a mustache, and then there was like this this um, sounds like Sebastian half orc woman. Very I liked her her attitude. It was Grinelda. Grinelda." Yeah. And then um, some young cleric girl burn on the face. Uh, Helena. 
and I think it was just those three. They didn't have a new. Re- I know this is going to be strange, but they. I want to like rule out anything. Uh, there was no talkings or any person who was a uh, who had a gazer with them, a small little abomination little thing flapping around with them. So it kind of does like that that gif of the guy who kind of shakes his head and goes Whoa, like you know that sort of face kind of. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I looks straight just... and she's like, can't say I remember that. No. Okay, fair enough. They were very prompt and very good. They let us keep the arm as well, which we appreciate. Okay, cool. So let's let's get this Maddox out here and uh and also investigate the pool. Zeus and Tombstone take a step back and go. Zeus kind of looks and goes. If anyone's making Maddox, it's going to be you guys. I beg your pardon? Why is this? Just... Mm. He just kind of watches, he just kind of shakes his head like, mm-mm. Insight? Uh, yeah, I'd like go to... Ahead. Go ahead. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Yeah. If he's going to uh, be a hard-ass, Taz can be a hard-ass back. Yeah, 24. 18. 16. Wow. Damn, Damn, you okay. You guys are rolling really well. All of you, like, immediately the look on their face, you all remember that this establishment is open all night, and you guys are here during the day. So imagine, if you will, you're fast asleep, and at 3 a.m., someone came in to ask you a bunch of questions. And if you're not a person who likes waking up in the middle of the night, they might be kind of not the nicest person ever. Well, that's too bad for them, because we're representing the law of this city. Yep, sucks Mm -hmm. to be them. Let's move. All right. Uh, One last... the law! One, One last question before we uh, move on these people who are starting to feel sick when do they usually come in what time mm, usually it's not really any sort of time it's just they come in they enjoy some drinks and they get their company and they leave have any of them returned after being reportedly sick a couple have yeah but they went for other escorts and seemed to be fine the escorts mm. though there's no correlation it's all different ones Strong, mm. the types that feel sick are strong city guard looking. Mm, yeah, mm, mm. I'd say meteor types, you know, like Zeus, like me. Gears are turning in Panic's head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remy's too. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right, let's go wake up. Uh, let's go wake up, sleepyhead. All right, I'm going back topside to start some work for the day. If you need me, I'll be working the beds. You watch as Tombstone kind of just like. Dusts off herself and she she leaves you guys for now. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation. Any time, officers. Any time. But remember, and she kind of runs two fingers across her lips and throws away a key, and then gives you like a point, like I'm watching you. But she turns around and disappears in the secret tunnel. Well, all right then. Uh, did we get told where the hell this guy was at? Oh, Zeus is still with you. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Zeus is gonna be helping you guys out. Uh, Remy will motion for him to lead the way. Uh, you watch as Zeus kind of takes the forefront. Uh, you guys head into the lead, and Kay will, will take the back one to keep her distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys make your way through the tunnels. Um, varying degrees of quality. Some of them are like more decrepit and awful, and it's just like, wow, who would want to live here? But then you realize it just kind of leads to like just a storage area. Uh, but it's definitely like a like task. This is awesome. This is like the best shit. Hell it's, yeah. It's like nice, perfectly designed tunnels. My cat is trying to bite me right now. One second. <laughs> Goblin. No, honey, I love you. But Meow. Right Meow. 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 All right. Go, go play. Blah, 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 blah. You're doing so well. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but Tass, this is like, like, like fantastic tunnel fantastic organization to the rest of you guys this is the maze this is like how, where are we going can i Which make a knowledge check to see how like to kind of like pinpoint how this um network was built sure go ahead okay here i go damn nine it's easy for you though definitely there are parts of it that kind of lead into other areas it looks like this is 100 percent not a tunnel meant to be like oh perfect layout for sustained living this is a perfect layout to get somewhere fast as you can right um and specifically you see there's a lot of tunnels that just kind of deviate and go upwards which you assume lead to the rooms of the mm-hmm. mansion. so like the actual areas where the escorts work um as you make your way through eventually you're led to a more cozy sort of attire there are actually rugs hung on the walls that make kind of like a weird soft sort of like cushiony side and it kind of widens out a little bit 
as eventually you make your way to what looks like just like a sort of six to eight bed living space. It's completely dark right now. Tass, you can see everything. The rest of you guys, even with your dark vision, it's pretty dark in here. Um, oh man, you guys see that clown in the far back corner? Joke. <laughs> you, you joke? You joke, Zito, but there is a gnome called Glitter McFuntimes who is sleeping in one of those beds yes, right he's now. There! <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping right now. We found the murderer, um, guys. We found him. You Keep do see on. that most of the beds are occupied at the moment. Um, and the room smells really nice for some reason. It smells like really nice in here. Um, and as you guys make your way kind of the entrance, Zeus just kind of presses himself up against the wall and just kind of does like after you. Right, Remy's well. going to march in there. Okay. I'll actually join Remy to point him out because I'm not sure if anyone else has actually I'll, seen I'll, him. No, I'll get in there as well. All right. You kind of guys waltz on in and you do see uh, a lizard folk man currently like hugging a giant, like almost body pillow size pillow, just like uh, kind of like gnawing on oh, it a oh. little bit. Uh, did Panic come in the room? Yeah. Uh, Remy will motion towards the ceiling and then motion in a circle to kind of like check the room. What do my special eyes see? Uh, I don't see anything. Uh, 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 oh. I just shrug. <laughs> there is okay. there is one thing you see. Uh, you do see that there is a bell uh, next to each bed, like all over top of each bed, and you can kind of see that it's like it emits a little bit of a um, what would this what would this be? Divination, I think. Hmm. Yeah, is it similar to the magic. bell that was downstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it seems okay. to be a calling bell. So gotcha. it's like, oh, we need you upstairs. Like, mm. ring, 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 ring. So. Gotcha, okay. It's like a paging system in a way. Mm. Yeah. Task will task will say in Draconic, like, enough to, like, be shouting almost a little bit, excuse me. Immediately you are met with, like, a tidal wave of, Ugh! hungover groans. You see, a, you see a dwarf rise up from a bed and be like, Shut the fuck up and just kind of roll over onto his side. <laughs> Remy, Remy is going to walk up. He's going to pull the covers off this gentleman. The dwarf? No, the person in the bed. No, Maddox, the lizard right? folk. The, the lizard, lizard folk. folk. I was going to say, the poor dwarf just wants to sleep, man. <laughs> Get out of here! This is an investigation! <laughs> we don't really do. We should have <laughs> been an investigation. It was our mistake. We should have all snuck in quietly and pulled the covers off and opened the blinds at the same time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just really, really there pulled. Is? Where are the drugs going? Notably, there are no windows down here because it's, you know, underneath the earth. Um, uh -huh. But it's warm. Like, you, you would think that this would be like super, super cold. It's very cozy in here. Uh, you guys pull off the covers of the lizard folk. And he's like, ah, uh, uh, he blinks kind of a little bit. Uh, I just want to double check and see what lizard he was again. Uh, he was a if it's a Komodo fun. dragon, we're fucked. I think he was, I think he was a skink, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think he was a skink. skink. Yeah. He's a blue ton skink. Yes, he is a blue ton skink lizard folk. Nice. So his beetle eyes kind of roll around his head. He kind of his tongue sticks out, and you see this this blue tongue. He kind of rolls over. He goes, "This better be good." Is he visibly hungover? Oh yeah, like he's like flip the hand back, pressing the forehead. The eyes wince kind of shut. Oh, like, okay. Uh, in that case, uh, will you allow me to use lesser restoration on him to fix that? Sure, I'd say Ta sure. Go ahead. Ta Tass like about... just puts his puts his finger on his forehead and casts lesser restoration. How does that feel? Uh, kind of blinks a couple times. His his tongue kind of lulls up on his cheek. That was that was not bad. Shit, we have a couple of was... questions for you. Uh, you watch awesome. it every time you speak, Remy. Everyone in the room goes, "Ugh!" And like one guy throws a pillow at you. <laughs> Like it doesn't really hit you in the face; it just kind of hits you on the side, and they're like, like one of them is like, "Shut up!" Like, Greg, kind of Greg, 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 Greg will step up. Hey, Mad Maddox, how you holding up? Oh, hey. Hey, do you want to come outside? We just need to ask you a couple questions. Uh, I'll let me put on pants. You watch this kind of rolls over. Reptiles don't wear pants. Clothes. Yeah, reptiles don't wear pants. What the fuck? <laughs> this one does. What the not, what, what, not all what, reptiles, Task. Not what all sorcery is this? Task will go on a personal mission to rip off every reptile's this, this, pants this in the man, world. This man must be sick, obviously. Why do wear his pants too? Come on. The man is <laughs> sick in the head. <laughs> this is turning into a Jimmy Neutron episode. Hell yeah. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, do do lobbies. Can it be the crossover pants? with the with the odd parents? That was my favorite one because everyone hated Jimmy and everyone loved Timmy. 
Oh, now, now, Jimbo, I'm, I'm gonna have to tell you a little bit of something about fairy godparent. Alrighty, so you guys take Maddox out of the living situation and lead him into kind of, not really the common area you guys were hanging out in earlier, but just kind of like a weird hub where all these tunnels kind of interconnect at one point. There's like some chairs there. And uh, Maddox kind of just sits down and starts kind of like cleaning his his feet claws, just kind of like, ugh, kind of like picking out stuff just from the day before. And kind of turns over and he goes, uh, so this is some sort of investigation. Yeah, this is about Diamond. I assumed so. I've been questioned by the god before, but I'm sure you're wanting to know more. Um, I was going to have a bath after my last job, and when I walked in, the water was bright red, and there was a hand bobbing in the middle of it. In the middle? Just, just floating around like a rubber ducky in a tub. Did you hear anything before you entered the bathroom? No. It's pretty loud in there, but I didn't hear anything out of the ordinary. And obviously I noticed there was something wrong when I walked in. There was, God, there was so many blood. Live Rosia, protect us. How is oh. the pool clean? It is natural flowing. Where does the natural flow go to? A drain that leads into a, what I assume is a, like a hot spring. Fucking, has anyone tr attempted to look at the hot spring? I mean, I would assume, I would, just above game, I would assume that the drain would be too small for a body. No, 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 no shit. I'm not saying about the body. I'm saying, like, the, the blood goes somewhere. Mm. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary since you've been here? Perhaps within the last couple of months, weeks even? Did Zeus mention the people who are tired? That's kind of a weird oddity. We haven't he had did, that before. Specifically that they were more masculine figures that belong to the guard. I, I feel awfully guilty. One of them was mine. And they're a very lovely, lovely woman, and I, I'd rather they not, you know, feel ill. I want them to come back, of course. I, do, I don't wish to know the specific details, but did they seem to become ill before you met them, during, or after they left? Well, after I left, it seemed. But they were fine during the moments you were together, and only when they left did they show any symptoms. Yes. So this may not be an individual, but perhaps like an aura? Hmm. Uh, does does detect magic from panic give any sense that there's any residue on him of any kind? No. Oh. Could you could you show us the room where the like the room that you were in that this happened? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. While we're walking, I'm just gonna tuning fork him real quick. Okay, you smack him on the tail and say, ah, and he kind of looks around to you and you're just kind of like picking your teeth with it, like do 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 do. <laughs> nothing, nothing happens when you hit him. All right. Okay. All right. Mm. Um, before we check the room, Zeus is it occupied and Zeus goes, uh, good point. Let me check on that. In the meantime, Maddox, why don't you take him to the bath so they can take a look? Yeah, okay. Okay. Do you still want to do that? Yes, sure. Rather not barge in on anybody who's working in the room right now, between you and me. Uh, this way to the bath. I didn't think uh, you would have any clients this early. Do you need me for, like, tech magic? Oh, uh, we have K, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we can have K, and then if you want to go separate, you can go elsewhere. Yeah. I don't know why, but... Just got a bad feeling. Oh no, I'm I'm also getting this feeling as well. Like whatever we're doing, the creature is one step ahead of us going the other way. All right, Zeus, I'm coming with you. Panic, do you want some backup? Where should I Bul mean? Where should Balky go? I'll tell you what. I'll go with Panic. The rest of you investigate the bathroom. All, All right. right. Hmm. K kind of flourishes her fingers and she casts detect magic. Let's split up and search for clues. Let's split up. Yeah. Panic. <laughs> Panic, if anything happens, use that stone. Mm hmm. What? Where? Would you do it for a ruby rack? Oh, Bra my God. Bra all of you are going to die. I, I want you guys all to know I'm really upset because Borky's clearly Scooby Doo. He's, no, clear he's crappy. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Oh. How dare you? How? Oh. How? Wow. Dare you? No one deserves that. No oh, one. Not even. Anyway, 
So who wants to go first? The group going with Zeus or the group going to the, the bathtub? Let's go do bathroom first. Uh, yeah. Can Borky come with Remy and Panic? Sure. Sure. Have fun, you guys. Yep. That leaves K, Task, and Greckles. Correct. I, 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 oh, Zeus. I hate oh, to interject here, but I I think maybe the two squishy DPS guys should have someone meaty with them. Okay. Yeah. Borky just gets pushed down the other path. Oh, I'm going this way. Okay. <laughs> that was my thinking, but I didn't want to force Kurt to go where he didn't want to go. Just yeah. make Borky think he's going one place, but he's actually going another. He won't know the difference. No, wait, Borky, that way. And it's well, oh, this oh, Borky, listen. Oh. listen. The, we've we've already got a lot of the beef over here already, and uh, I think Remy might be mad at you. Oh, why? <laughs> I don't know, but he keeps giving you the stink eye every now and again. Uh, Turns back, and he's a realistic fucking falcon looking back at Borky. Uh, with, like, really big eyebrows for no reason. Man, he's just... <laughs> uh, you know, Borky just whispers and panics here. He's, he's giving well, him the Ronda Rousey stare. You, 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 know what, you know what they say about <laughs> eagles? They never forget. Borky walks away. Oh, my fucking That's elephants, awesome. you fucking moron. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Anyway, so we're gonna do the bath Borky first. Borky ran right. through the short carriage to school. Borky, Borky, Task, Greckles, and Kay. You guys make your way down the hallway. Kay noticeably relaxing as Zeus makes his exit. She kind of <sighs> keeps walking forward. As you guys move forward, you begin to hear the sound—a very loud sound of rushing water. Uh, and you kind of get this, this sort of like metalish kind of smell, like minerally kind of smell. As you guys make your way uh, through a, a door, there is a door on the outside. It appears to be the bath. You open up the door, currently not occupied, uh, but you see inside a pretty significantly sized bathtub. Like definitely not like a bathtub, but not like a big lake. It's a bit like um, like a hot tub. A little bit, like hot tub size, maybe slightly bigger than a hot tub. Is it, um, nat is it natural? It is natural, yes. You see okay. um, from a, basically like a waterfall that's just coming out of the wall. Uh, water is running down in a very considerable like quantity. Uh, it kind of runs down these two sort of carved mineral channels that kind of run into the bath naturally, enriching it with what you assume is minerals and other things. Um, notably, as you make your way close, you see on the rim, like the edge of the water, specifically like the, the edge of the entire pool, there is a slight red tint to it. Uh, some remaining blood that has probably pooled up and has not completely washed away just I'm yet. getting a pile of that shit. I was about to say. Right. So you go in. I'm going to say for this one, because it's it's like basically just attached to the mineral, I'm going to say for this, survival with disadvantage, because there's not a lot of it. I'm still what? taking that chance. Fuck I it. Was go assist. ahead. Nineteen. Okay. Oh. Nice. Rather than rather than like scoop the water part, you're like, hold on a minute. You take out your dagger and you just chip off a piece with the blood on it, and you put that in a little vial. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, you do see the drainage. It's actually quite small. It's it's maybe about the size of like, oh god, I don't even know what to compare this to. It's maybe like a foot, a foot long. Like it's about a foot long by like three inches wide. Okay. Can... Um, and there's like several of them throughout. You do notice that these are definitely dwarven make, so obviously this was a dwarven constructed, you know, underground chamber, which makes sense. Dwarves. I would love to do an investigation check to look for any trap doors or... C c considering, considering how secretive and, and weird this all is, all the connecting rooms and whatnot, okay. it's suspicious. And I, I also would like to, uh, since it's running water... I'd like to, from the where the water is entering, I'd like to dip the fork in the water. Dip the fork in the water? Okay. I'm still going to remind you, it doesn't work like that. You have to hit people with that. Okay, so you, you know what? Listen, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm... No, I, I appreciate you trying to be thorough, but I just don't want to disappoint you each and okay. every time. No, no, it's fine. No. Just, just tell me that we fucking sit and spin. Don't worry about it. 14. No. Sir, that was to investigate the for any trapdoors. For trapdoors trap or secret entrances. Trapdoors and secret entrances. Unfortunately, as you look around in the water and you just kind of look, you don't see anything. I was looking more to the walls and such, but okay. Oh, to the walls? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you look around, the only thing is just the water rushing out. That's about it. I'd like to actually get in the water and check the bottom of the pool. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Here I go. 
oh. great. I mean, anything that would have been down here is easily gone now. Like the fact we even got blood on the like on the stone at all was kind of a miracle. Uh, oh, yeah. Borky holds Can't up. We... Borky holds up his hand. You're not there. Oh, wait, no, you are there. Sorry. Yes, yes. Is. yes I am. <laughs> Borky, Sorry, it's Bor Borky, Borky just goes, "Am I?" and disappears. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Borky just kind of holds up his head. Um, uh, uh, so like the body was in here, right? They just found the arm floating, right? In the center, yes. Yeah, uh, he's just like, "Well, so where did the water go?" Through there. Points at the drainage. Okay, maybe I can reach in there. Yeah, is it, it's, it, I'm sure it's way too small for me to even fit in if we took the gray no, out. My you arm. would not, even with Squirmy, you would not fit in this thing. Let's see if I can reach Ooh, my arm. You could fit an arm. You could fit an arm in Borky, there. Borky's like, I'm going to have to get in there, though. Borky, uh, test the water. Borky, it's uh... It's warm. It's actually extremely Ooh. comfortably warm. Okay, I know we didn't pay for this, but, um... Borky starts stripping. Okay. Uh, there's, there's like there's like hangers you can hang up your stuff in and like Borky throws his clothes in that direction. All right, I see so. And Borky just dips in. You just see this green butt descend into the water. Oh, it's quite warm. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice and toasty. Ah, uh, are we trying to replicate the scene of the crime, Borky? Well, if well, like. <laughs> All right, so you want me? You want me to be the beautiful elf, and you want to be the murderer? Is that how you want it to go down? <laughs> My teeth aren't big enough, but you know. No. Well, anyways, uh, all right. So I'm gonna. Borky wanders to where the drain was pointed out to him. How okay. far underwater is it? That's not that far. It's like uh, the water for you at the deepest point maybe comes up to like your your like the bottom of your like your pecs, like your mm. your sort of like your your the, lungs. The nips, the nip, the nips are getting the. Uh, no, heat. no, nips are fine. Like you literally, like you stand in there and like you see Borky's torso up. Essentially, it's pretty deep for like you task. Like you're, you'd be like, oh jeez. All right, there oh, we go, Borky. I just heard Monty say the nips are fine. I never in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thought uh, I would hear that. Borky uh, sucks in his breath and goes down, places his feet beside the grate, like the drain, and tries to pull the metal off. All right, roll a strength check for me. Oh, let's not deface it. <clears throat> okay. That is a oh. six. Oh! It is in the stone. You're like... Mm. All right. Okay, I, think, I think I may need the help of a hollow-boned bird. Okay, Borky, what? before we start destroying private property, what What are you trying to accomplish? It's obvious that something came in here and freaking ate her. What are you going to find in the drain? I don't know. Other parts of her? <sighs> we really shouldn't. We Explain really shouldn't to me why that might not apart. be. Uh, we, I know we shouldn't be breaking things apart, but they shouldn't have let one of their employees die. Get in the can water. Compare, Help me lift this thing up. <laughs> can I compare if... Uh, Okay, so I know her body, like, the hand was dragged into the water, and the water flows away. I want to see if there's any of her blood or any sort of, like, something that is akin to the bloody uh, stone that I have that's coming from where the water is entering. Sure, roll an investi uh, investigation check. Because maybe this thing dragged her away through there. Uh, investigation. Kablam. God damn it, eight. Okay. Where are you looking specifically? Uh, I'm looking at uh where the water is coming in. Okay. As you kind of push your way through the spout of water, you kind of get like pushed forward. You know, like when you're under the shower and like there's that little gap between yes. where the water's coming out and like the, the actual back of the shower. Yes. You kind of get shoved due to the force like into that, and you smack up, and you kind of like. You wipe down your face and you look at your hands. You're like, man, I don't remember my hand being that red. And you look up and you see the entire wall leading up into that is that's being missed by the water is like slightly watered down red. I come back. I, I pull myself out. Guys over here. Well, I'm going to go for the grate again, Task. What is it? Oh, Borky. I, I show my hand. It's covered in blood. Oh, my God. What happened? What? So what? Your hand is red. It went up. The, it went up the entrance way of the water. Kay kind of walks around and kind of looks with you. Borky, I'll let is... her do investigation. Borky. She kind of, yeah, she's going to investigate. Can I assist? Uh, yeah, sure. That'd be great because you rolled like shit. Borky yeah. does that slow underwater walk towards the edge of the pool. 
yeah, yeah. You know the walk. You know the walk. I, I've done it, so yeah, I know we, exactly. We all know that Kay, pressure. Kay looks at the looks at it and she goes, "It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes in there." That's that's crazy. I use primeval awareness. Yeah, you're getting the feeling. Tass like holds his head. This is it. Meanwhile, upstairs. Well. Well, you know what they say. You kind of look. Uh, Zeus kind of looks to you, Remy. Three is a crowd, but I do like the extra company. <clears throat> yes, just, we appreciate uh, your assistance with the investigation. Certainly. Well, this is where the uh, this is where the drainings happen, and uh, I just got a very bad feeling. Yeah, I um, I just you know. When it comes to the romance, we pride ourselves on, you know, good, satisfying experience. Everything's nice. And anytime anyone leaves with any sort of discomfort, it, you know, it bothers us in a personal way. You understand, yes? Uh, yes. Yes, I do understand. Speaking of which, she kind of looked, kind of gives like a side glance to you, Remy. I just wanted to apologize with how our previous meeting occurred. I got a little overenthusiastic, and I apologize. To Remy? No, no to, he's to, talking to, to panic. panic talking to panic. Remember when oh. Remy was not there? <laughs> you mean with in in Canary's perch? Yeah. Ah, I mean, you helped. Uh, you helped get us out of a heap of trouble after a pretty harrowing event. So uh, I appreciate it. Hmm. Well, if you ever want to come back, I'll try and do better next time. <laughs> All right. Uh, you watch as he kind of thumbs through a ledger. Yeah, room's empty. Let's go. He leads you guys up one of the narrow tunnels, and it's just like a straight shot. Like it actually goes weirdly, almost ninety degrees at some points. So you have to actually have to, like climb up with your hands and knees. Like some of it's really ridiculous. And eventually, he pops open a part of the wall, and you enter into a very reasonably nice room. It's well furnished. Uh, there's a bearskin rug on the ground, a candelabra, like a fireplace that isn't lit, some couches, obviously a big bed. Um, and there's actually like a little shrine in the corner as well, uh, which appears to be actually roll a religion check, panic. Alrighty. I'm going to assume this is a live Rosia thing. Uh, uh, there it is. Religion is going to be, ooh, not great, 13. You had to beat a five, so I mean... Yeah, it's 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 a statue of Liberos. Yeah, it's it's a it's sort of like a like a religious shrine, good luck shrine kind of thing that kind of sits in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, you 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 did notice in your room you also had something similar, but it was they're not like a huge part of the room. They're just kind of like a little like oh this is here, you know. Uh, there's also a bookshelf with various different books um, and some potted plants, some real, some not. Uh, as you guys make your way into the room. Any magic? Um, I mean, the shrine has a little bit of magic to it. Um, <laughs> it's probably just because it's a shrine. Um, there are some books on the shelves that appear to be magical. Uh, really? be yeah. Beyond that, <sighs> nothing else in the room. Hmm. Investigation I'm checking out. Check? Yeah, I'm, I'm checking out the, the the magical books. I'm curious what those are all. Okay. Uh, what what school of magic are the books? Uh, they would be enchantment uh, amongst some other mixed spells. It looks like it looks like like a beginner's spell book essentially of magic. Hmm. Uh, Zeus, what are what are these used for? Those? Oh, they're a collection. Huh. Sometimes people want to be pretend to be a wizard or something, you know. Oh, oh! I'll, I'll look through it to see if is there like any cantrips written down in the spell book or something. There is one you don't recognize. It's called Friends. <laughs> I'll be there for you. <laughs> I'm there, there for, for specific you. Specific reason I did do, not do, take do, that do. cantrip. I could. <laughs> you should take the cantrip Unagi. That's for all the Friends fans out there. 
there's friends, produce flame, um, and a couple other ones that like press digitation, things you already know. Yeah, I'm 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 sort of I'm sort of looking at like huh. Doesn't this have very detrimental effects once it wears off? Which one? This one, friends. Oh yeah, it lasts like two seconds. Yeah, but once it wears off, it's like You know, yeah. All right, I'll just I'll put the book back. Seems uh, uh, none of the, none of these. They're all all of the books that are giving off faint magical signatures. They're fairly weak, correct? Yeah, one of them you open up and it literally just sprays perfume in your face. Mm. Like not like in a in an aggressive way, but it's just like you smell good now. Oh, as if it didn't before. Like you walked into the spray after the concierge sprayed it yeah. for you. The fucking yeah, exactly. the, the, the 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 perfume department. Mm. <laughs> Uh, you watch as Zeus kind of, like, leans over you, like, kind of, like, doesn't stand beside you. He actually, like, towers over you and, like, kind of flicks a book out. And he goes, want to see what this one does? Mm, sure. Oh, man. He flips it open, and it, and it literally opens up, like, a pop-up book. And there's a cup of tea. Oh, ready to drink? Damn. And he watches it. He picks it up, and he drowns the whole thing. And he puts it and closes it, and he puts it away. Fuck. That's an employee, that's an employee secret. Oh, Learning it's a special a lot tea of for us. Tricks of the trade. Yep. You gotta be when you run a place as good as this. Rufus Crumblebum knows how to put on a show, but also how to make it easy for us. Indeed. You say you have competition, but uh, I don't really know of anybody who can quite compete with uh, dedication like this. You watch as Zeus kind of like extends his arms and kind of gives like a little bit of like a, like a half like shrug and bow at the same time. Uh, Remy, you getting anything? I was going to roll an investigation check to see if I noticed Absolutely. anything. Uh, what? it's a big old five. Big old five. I will also roll the thing. Okay. Investigation. I am helpful. It is going to be Ooh. natural oh! 20. I saw that flip. I'm like, yeah, roll it. It was like eight, eight, <laughs> eight, 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 natural 20. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. I don't know, Panic. Mm. You tell me. Lovely gravity. Okay. Virtual gravity. Hmm. What did you find with that? A natural 20 in this room. You still have detect magic on if that gives you any ideas. You do, yes. Or we could hear something or go somewhere or have a premonition. Um, as you walk up to the statue and take a look at it, uh, the statue is of Livrosia, um, with kind of like this, this sort of like both arms are kind of cradling this rose that's kind of held in her hand. Mm -hmm. You look at that rose and you grab it, and it's actually removable. And you lift it up and you turn it around, and there's a little moat of <laughs> scrying right there. Son of a... I, I, I hold it up. It just kind of turns uh. over. I... By, by the way, the moment you turn that, you still have detect magic on, right? Yes. The moment you turn that, you, there was always this kind of this haze that kind of came through. The moment you turn that, the haze in this room turns off. And you know that Tombstone said like these rooms are anti-scry proof. The moment you turn that rose around, it's not scry proof anymore. Somebody figured that out. Damn. That's insider information. Who the f this, who's this spilling is being the beans? on? What? Scrying. Someone was using scrying on this rose. I thought that wasn't possible in these rooms. It Someone shouldn't be. She just kind of walks figured, over. Someone must have figured it out. Someone must have known. Or this someone is, told. Zeus kind of takes the rose and lifts up. This is not supposed to be detached. This is like a whole thing. Someone's altered this. Who has access to this room? All of us. Every escort has access to this room. All the rooms. I need to notify Tombstone immediately. He kind of puts the slots, the he actually just tosses the rose back to you. Get it, can you, is it, you have a sense, right? You can see this? Yes. Okay, you look like you're bedazzled the entire time. Can you make it, fix it? Can you make it go away? Uh, I believe I do have. Do you have dispel? Yes, I do. I do have yes, dispel. Yes, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. 
I cast a spell magic. All right. This is not a third level spell. This is a higher level spell. I can cast it at a higher level. Okay. So this is going to be... Basically, whatever level you cast it at, I I will... it, it kills that I, I, plus. I, I don't know that, so I can test it at, at third level, but you if I need to... to. You have to beat a fifth level spell. Ooh. Okay. DC is 15, then. Yes, yeah. it would be a 15 with a level 3. I believe I get... It was a ability check using my spellcasting modifier. DC is 15, and I believe because jack of all trades, I get a bonus to this? I don't know. Pretty jack sure, because I, 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 I add my proficient... I add half of my oh. proficiency bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, if you have so, that in, is that specifically? I think that's only proficiency, like things you're proficient with. It so. is all ability checks, I think. Oh shit! Okay, it's a plus, then yeah, it add looks it like up. it's a plus one. Wait. All right, so uh, it will be a with my spellcasting ability, so it'll be a charisma check, I think. Okay. Make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. Okay, so this is charisma. Mm. I have to be. 17. 17. Yeah. You, you grab the rose and phew, you watch as, as the rose powers down, everything else floods back. So is there's there's the the basically the anti scrying like what you seem as a wall actually surprisingly um appears to re re like reestablish itself now. So this is, the room is now scry proof. You can tell. Hmm, the rose, okay. the rose, the rose can no longer scry. All right. Uh, and I, disabling that, rose. you seem to have disabled whatever has been interrupting the magical flow in this particular room. Okay. At least when you rotated the rose, anyway. I'll I'll put it back then. Um, okay. You just shik, put it back. It does fit in the hands rather nicely, but it, as you look kind of where they meet, you can tell that someone definitely went in and kind of divided it out. So that, so that, hmm, so that, so that faint bit of magic that I sensed on the statue when we were coming in here, that wasn't divine magic. Nope. It was, div it was divination scrying. Yeah. Okay. Uh <laughs> it was faint though, because it was obviously not activated. It was, you know, just mm -hmm. sitting there. Yeah. All right. Well, so, was, uh, so they were not actively scrying. It was just there to be used at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was an object that they were familiar off with. It will, or once you turn it on, it stays on. Yeah, Panic's got their idea. It's an object they're familiar with, so they can use that. Gotcha. Yeah. It must have been something about the Livrosia statue itself, which might have blocked that, and they just sort of cut out the rose to make it easier or something. Not it's quite just sure. It's inconspicuous. Like, if someone were to just walk over, flip that around, no one would notice. Yeah, nobody would. Yeah. If, if you use that as the trigger, you're fine. A natural 20 gave you that. <sighs> okay, all right. So that's, how, that's how inconspicuous that was. All right. So, should we check the other rooms for this? I'm going to get me and Toonstone. We'll start checking the other rooms. I think you and your friend should stick together. I was together. going to say we should check on the others and let them know. Definitely. We'll, we'll go meet up mm. okay thank you again for your assistance yes thank you Certainly. zeus of course anytime and you too he gives you a little wink remy remy will give him like a polite salute <laughs> oh come on now he kind of ducks his head in and disappears down the tunnel <sighs> give him a little a little fan, fan the fingers at him a little finger waggle i take it you know him well panic yeah yes, he's very enamored with you <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, who isn't? <sighs> Fair enough. Got to know him on a very deep walking. level. <laughs> <laughs> no. So we will find the others. All right. Meanwhile, in the water, you guys Greco, the Greco, Greco, the water. Greco, 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 grab what? my, grab my clothes, grab my clothes. Come on. <sighs> I throw the clothes at him in the water. Oh, for fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're the idiot that wanted to climb in that thing in the first place. I would want to solve the mystery, Grackles. Uh, whatever task. What do you? See? What else do you see up there? Can what we... do my kobold eyes see with a perception check? Can, can you we see actually blood find... and then the, just the open hole with all the water running out of it? The hole is very big, by the way. It's quite large. 
it's a hole. It, it, it's all the blood that's pooling there, and then there's an open hole in the back. Is there room for me to get up in there? To give you guys a visual example, I'll just oh. sketch a little thing here really fast. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you. This, this, is the, this is the wall here. This is the water coming out. Like that. Okay. And this is like the, 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 the bathtub. And then right here is where you guys found all the blood. So right up against the wall and the sort of empty side. But this Whoa. hole here is huge. Monty, oh, you ever consider being an artist? They got, uh, okay, so above game, they got pulled into that hole, at least is my yes. theory. They got, they got yes. pulled into the, the hole where the water is coming out of. Yeah, that's interesting. It's very Ooh. interesting. Okay. Ugh. We'd have to go inside there, fight the current, and then we would see what's in there. Willy Wonka. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Now, do you want me to reach my hand into this? Tars. Can he fit, him in, can he fit his entire self in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he totally can. I assume uh, there's like a big opening in the wall and the water's just pouring it down it. Yeah. yeah, more more, more yourself than just the hand. Oh, for God's sake, Borky starts taking off his wet clothes again. Ah! <laughs> Putting them down. No, no, I don't... No, 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 I'm no, keeping no. on the pants! I'm not you, Borky. No, that's... Borky, <laughs> your equipment, you fuck! What? He has... Keep your equipment! You don't know what's in there! Task, I'm a barbarian. Task holds his face and like just like pushes Jesus. like you know like how a cat when it's sick it fucking like puts its face against the wall that's Task right yeah. now. Fast forward yeah. ten minutes where Borky's arm comes sliding back down the ramp. Uh huh. It just Ooh. it just crackles goes. <laughs> well, at least it's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would say that. All right, Borky's like, all right, should I reach my arm in first? Would that make just you feel do better? Just, just do, do it. it. Borky shoves right. his arm in the hole. All right, easy enough. I'm gonna say roll a strength check because you're you're going against the current here to shove your arm through, and it's a lot of water torrenting out at the moment. Ah! God damn it! Water's all sick. <laughs> you know, all right. As you shove, you like you like without even thinking. I'll slowly put my arm in here. You're like I'm gonna punch this waterfall. You you shove your arm into the waterfall, not realizing the strength of the current, and it swings out, and you punch yourself in the face. Oh! Oh! God, if we. I swear to God, now I just imagine we all float out here, Douglas. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Hey, do you need some help? <sighs> you know what? You're right. Massage my shoulders while I do this. Porky goes for another one. All right, go ahead. I, I literally, I literally get this. underneath him to try and push him through. Okay, on, Borky. I'll say with advantage because you have people helping you. Jesus! Well, oh, well, twenty, really? Actually, you're fine because it's just oh. the openings. You manage to shove your hand in. And you like grab a piece of rock, but it's like the water's like running over your shoulders, over your face, and your eyes, and you're kind of wincing your eye open. I mean, you have your arm in there. Borky starts feeling around a little bit, goes to the ground below, though. He goes down, actually. See if you he can feel. Feel? It keeps going. It's like a big open tunnel. Yeah. With just water flowing out of it. Is, uh, is Lizard Boy in here still? Uh, yeah. yeah, he is. He's kind of looking really perplexed and standing next to Kay, and Kay's just like, uh, this is just normal guard procedure. Oh, actually, Greckles looks to Kay and, and, is, and uh, says, Kay, can you get a sending message to one of our companions? Uh, if they're in the room, I can call for the room, yes. Uh, I was calling for Kay. Me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, what do you want, what do you want me to send? Mm -mm. I need you to, I need you to send to Panic that, uh, <sighs> I don't know what the limitations is. We found a trail. We found a blood trail in the bathroom that leads out. We think the demon or the devil, whatever, has uh, dragged its quarry out. Okay, I have twenty-four words. I'll make that work. I just uh, keep panic. going. Panic as you're as you're walking through the hallways, getting a little bit lost because because Zeus kind of left you and you have to find your own way. Uh, you your your mind goes off a little bit, and you're like, if, but you hear K in your brain go. Panic, we found a lead in the bathroom. Please come post haste. Stop. We believe the demon might be here. Stop. Uh, all right. I will reply. Okay. We're on our way. The... Bed oh boy, you cut out. Uh, try, try again, buddy. It's the bedroom. I heard the bedroom. The bedrooms. 
absolutely someone was scrying in there, tampered with the uh, anti-scrying field somehow. Yep. And that'll be it. Okay, that's easy enough. That was that was twenty. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, you watch as as uh, as um, Kay turns towards you guys. He goes, they're on their way. Apparently, they found some anti scray uh, uh, scraying. Oh my gosh, uh, anti scrying magics in some of the rooms of the mansion. So Kay, I, worry, buddy. I thought you need that for all the secrets. Kay, do you have some way to maybe halt or prevent the water from coming out? Uh, Better question, way. Maddox. Do you know anyone who could shut the it's a natural flowing source. We don't shut it off. Do you know where the source comes from? It's a spring well, I believe, in the in the earth. It's like a, a natural hot spring. Uh, well, we is... found a lead. We're going to have to break this wall down or something. I might have an idea, but we need everyone here first. All right. Okay, is your, I, is your idea to have me go in deeper or mount task on a stick this... of some kind? It unfortunately okay. doesn't involve you, Borky. Damn Man, it! And this is this is why I wish I could play a, a wizard. Why? Because this this could work. Um, K is gonna cast floating disc. Tense is floating Ooh. disc. Hell yeah! What? What, what, what yeah. is the floating disc? Floating disc. It creates a circular horizontal plane of force, three feet in diameter and one inch thick, that floats three feet above the ground in unoccupied space of your choice. The disc remains for the duration and can hold up to five hundred pounds. Oh, yeah. Tensor's, so... Tensor's Floating Disc is basically the spell that says, you can't take all this treasure out. Fuck you. Yes, we can. So... Okay. We put Baby Yoda on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a reach. So... Someone call Mr. Fantastic. Ow, my arm. I don't know if you... I'm going to do this because fuck it, and I'm the DM, and anyone who argues with me can fight me. She's going to place that disc in front of the water flow and then start pushing it like a like a like a like a thing. So it's not big enough to completely circumvent all the water, like plug it up, but it's enough that the water flows around it creating enough space for everyone to crawl in. Let me look inside. All right, as you look inside and she kind of pushes it forward, you just see stone and water pooling around. For anybody that has a problem, that's called the rule of cool. Mm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, no, no, no one's playing a wizard in this, so fuck it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yeah. So at this point, after she kind of, she did a ritual. It was a 10-minute ritual for this. Mm -hmm. At this point, uh, Panic and Remy, you guys make it as she's just kind of finishing up this spell as you guys make your way around. All right, guys, What's let, me break, find? let me whoa, break it down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone talking at once. Okay. <sighs> anyway, we found out that it was likely that whatever attacked Diamond dragged her through this water tunnel. We found blood residue and everything. We also found residues, or rather panic, found a scrying orb, much like the one in the hunter's locale. Oh, I'm well, sure Tombstone's going to be glad to hear that. Not really a scrying orb, per se, but more along the lines of someone was scrying on an object in the room. And mm. they, they had insider knowledge of the anti-scrying properties of the room and they knew how to turn it off temporarily. Which means they either so, worked there or they were able to coerce someone to tell them. Definitely. Oh, Doomsday's gonna have a field day with that. I'm gonna roll perception check down the tunnel. Okay. Uh, as, as Kay has finished summoning her thing here. I mean, it's just stone. All you see is stone. Uh, she kind of just goes, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. We're going. Push. Remy's going to try to go first so that nobody gets hit out of nowhere. Shield Kay, out. Kay unfortunately has to go first because of her oh, fist. Oh, fair enough. So All right, you're well, behind, her. behind her. Yeah, you're behind her. Can, can, squishy he, mage. can, can he do a, like some kind of a guard action? No, because no, there'd be no way for me to jump in really. front of her. This, ah, is like, okay. this is like tight. I mean, Borky can fit in here, but he's definitely wall to wall. Oh, okay. okay. Borky's, nice going on an, Borky's going in on, a, on an angle. Let's just let's say that. Can can I squirm me in between K and and Remy? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Awesome. You, you cannot squirm me in front of her because it's just water. No, no, like, no. I don't want to be in yeah. front of her. I want to be in between the both of them. Monty, yeah. you literally that's literally what I was gonna do with my shield. So good call on the disc. Yeah. So she just she keeps moving it forward, and like you, there are moments where she kind of strains as she kind of flexes her hands and keeps it forward. 
Uh, eventually, as she, it goes on for a while. Like you guys are crawling for like a solid, like probably twenty minutes. Jeez. Good Lord. Like, it, I mean, given you guys aren't going fast because you guys are crawling on your hands and knees in a very slick and very like you know one inch a minute sort of like style. But eventually, like Kay's just like, I think we're at the end, and she kind of keeps shoving. Um, and as she does, need everybody to make a strength check as a group check here for me. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Save or, or just strength? Just 10. A straight, straight check. God here. damn it, I wanted that 17. Uh, okay. Oh, good. 19. Task of Iron Oath, strongest there is. So <laughs> any, anything under a 10 is a failure. Great. So we nice. have two failures. Oh, God. Three failures. Three failures, but we have three successes as well. <laughs> why, did so, the, why did the warriors... F <sighs> I know. Uh, so that technically is a success if you guys equal out. Um, uh, so ooh. as you guys, like all the people kind of get are about to get sucked back down that tunnel, um, Tass, you kind of grip the side with your nails and you grab Kay and kind of throw her into this now bond underwater body of water. Um, Greckles, you get grabbed by, uh, you get grabbed by, wait, hold on a second. Okay. okay. I hope it's a friendly. Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Borky, Borky, grab you, grab, you grab Greckles and you grab Remy, you just kind of throw <laughs> them. Kay, uh. <laughs> despite having a negative one, somehow rolled a 15 and was fine, and she kind of swims into the water as her disc kind of dissipates from the force. You guys are now floating in a very warm, thermal water lake. And immediately, Kay starts swimming to the top. Like, she's like, like holding her breath because her let's constitution her. isn't super great. Let's, let's grab her. All right. Um, you guys, you guys. Swim, can I roll swim, a perception check while we're in the water? Sure, absolutely. We're just going to do that because water has, has a bit of a... Got it. So I'm at, I'm at base then for this. I'm uh, guessing it's very dark in here. 23. I have a dark I have dark vision, so... This isn't this is a darkness. This is just like... like it's water. You're looking at water. It's water, so there's particles to it, and it's... Yeah, it's, it's obscured. Bar, plus, awesome. I'm still going to try. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a no from Borky there. <laughs> All right. You guys... You guys swim and eventually breach Remy as you're swimming. So you see something move in the water. Just like, just, just movement. You just turn and you just see something kind of glimpse out of sight. Oh, you detect magic? Detect magic? You detect something a little bit magical here. You detect something very strongly magical, actually, as you surface. All of you guys <gasps> gasp for air in this very temperate, watered Task. place. Task! Task! Yes. Your fiendish sense. Is it going off? Primeval awareness. <coughs> <laughs> As you press down your temples to primeval sense, I need uh, Greckles. Yes? I need you to make a, uh, a athletics check for me. Oh, good. I'm terrible at that. Oh, no. Oh, no, bird. I wish it was acrobatics. Hey, 19. Ooh. Still pretty good. Nice. 19. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Something's going to drown me in it. By one. Uh-huh. As you swim, as you're kind of like, ah, reach a sur Buddy! surface and panic. And sorry, and task one second. <laughs> Okay. Give me give me a minute here. Go gotcha. for it, go for it. No. As you kind of like surface and you're all kind of looking over and Remy's going, Task, send something. And Task immediately goes down. You feel something grab your feet and pull you under. And you, <gasps> you kind of disappear. And in a flash moment, you turn around and you see a large, disgusting, humanoid-like frogfish creature with these webbed sort of fins that kind of run down the length of the body from like the peak of the wrist all the way down, and it grips you, grabs your head, and pulls you close, and in your mind you hear, well, that's not so often a meal comes to me. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Ah! Monty, Monty, why is it Monty? Monty, 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 why is it always me? I randomly Every rolled. Oh! Because... I can account, I can account five fate, times that I'm fate, the one that gets ambushed. Fate Man. itself demands Goodbye, the Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. See you in Man, a Man, ponies month. is going to be a weird departure from the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, that's 108, the... guys.
Oh man. God, episode every time. 108. Oh my goodness. What an oh, episode. Man. This was fun by the way. This is this Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah hey Monty, really well done. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you yeah. Monty for letting me do my big boy brain think. No, that's what the point of this adventure is. Like, I'm like, this is going to be a fun little in-city adventure where you have I, fun with um, it. We, we may have a, a, a problem here. Uh, Wait, what's what? wrong? My, it says my audio was dropping in some places. It's the first time I've ever gotten that error. Uh, my my waveform looks fine, but so, I would say Austin. just save it, and then if there's problems, he'll pull it let, from the stream. Let Austin know, and then if, if not, he can pull you from the stream. It should be fine. Okay, all right. I mean, the waveform's there. It was kind of, for me, it was kind of fun showing you guys how the Romantian actually works. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. I had no it's idea that there cool. were, like, invisible Do you know what walls. it reminds me of, Monty? There's a, there's a restaurant in New York called Ninja, and that's actually how the employees sneak into the room and oh give you my food. God. Okay, so that's so cool. so I got I got to be honest here. Some people are just shout, shouting out some amazing titles. I know we're not going to choose this title, but Dust of the Forgotten said a title for this episode, Hot Tub Crime Machine. <laughs> oh, God. God. I know oh, we're not gonna cho I know we're not gonna choose it, but another one is from Zelmegus Romansion's Haunted. <laughs> <laughs> the haunted Romansion. Oh. No, uh, wait, I mean, wait, it's wait. not haunted. I, it, it, it's gross. It, it, some good stuff there, good stuff here. Every this is See, every case begins with K. Every oh case God. begins with Ooh. K. That's good. That's good. That's real good. Wow. I'm really glad she's traveling with you guys because she's 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 a lot of fun actually. I, I, it's but, why I wish there was a mage in the party. Well, I, the biggest thing with her is just like, man, I really hope she's not gonna be like anti-fun because she's very Sneeze? to the book. Or but, die, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, that too. Oh, uh, you know, the police will super love that one of their agents died under our watch. Why do you think Remy tried to sacrifice his life? She's, <laughs> yep. She's, she's willing to die for justice. Uh, Cobernick thirty six says <laughs> episode title in hot water. Or that's actually not a good bad. One too. Or that, that might that might kind of or blood give diamond away, though. Or blood diamond. Yeah. I do like I like every K starts with K. I kind yeah, of every like king that. begins with K. It's cute. Uh, okay, so there's a lot of people got to thank Dragon One Two Four. Thank you so much for dropping seven subs on the chat. It's awesome, Bruno von Axias, right? Thank you as well so much, guys. Thank you all for the bits and subs. Effective sheep. Thank you for the 500 bits. Episode title: Build the Gods, then we'll talk. Based on Panic at <laughs> the Disco, build God, then we'll talk. Gosh darn it. Uh, Argent Lael with a 400 bit. I work at a hotel. My version of Karen is well online. It says the price of the room was this. <laughs> oh. Argent Lael, uh, uh, Argent Lael 13. You have my simpy. You truly, truly, <laughs> truly do. Oh, I got my puppy Borky here. My Craig. Monty, what's bad is that I actually made a character that is essentially Karen. Oh my god! <laughs> so really I, I hope your DM kills you friends, instantly. My friends were driving. I think we went to like to like get like bubble tea or something. We were driving, and I'm just like we, we were just talking. I'm like, man, it must be weird now having the name Karen or Chad. And my friend Deadpan, totally serious, said Karen and Chad are not names. Karen and Chad are a state of being. And <laughs> oh my! Oh my! That was Darian. That was the guy who helped me with the with the Discord devil that's, fight. That's he said that as he was driving, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Burnout Bob with a hundred <laughs> with a thousand bits. Sorry, title Row Mystery, <laughs> like Romance, but Row Mystery instead at the Row Mystery. But thank you, Burnout nice. Vaughn. A thousand bits from Queen Elfie one as well. Why, Monty? Poor Grackles. Uh -huh. <laughs> I rolled, it's always it's a, grackles. But once it's every time. I I rolled a d10 to see uh, who would get it. Hey 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 hey, ladies, you're both beautiful. No, I'm not I'm ugly and I fat. Don't you tell me otherwise. One to two. Okay, is fine. Me. You're ugly and fat, and I won't tell you otherwise. Thank you. One, wow. You're also Thank not very you. talented. Oh like, no! Jesus Christ! Oh. Jesus. Oh he's just he's just mad at my burn let me, earlier. Let me justify this. I had a D10 that I was gonna roll for each of you guys, not K. I omitted her out, and I rolled uh -huh. like each two is like so. Remy was one to two. Greckles was three to four. Panic was you know five to six, etc. And I rolled a three, so I'm like, oh, it's Greckles, I guess. Again. To be fair, you didn't get eaten. Yeah, it's true. Oh, 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 yeah, and yet. Okay, yes. you keep bitching and she's going to swallow you first thing next session. <laughs> that's what all that's I'm what saying. I, you had, okay, you don't understand how many times Greckles. <laughs> Connor, where can they find you? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at St. Al Snake. You can find oh, me on Twitter at Distortion Devil. 
where I'm where I'm too strung out on painkillers to deal with this. <laughs> uh, ain't that ain't that true? Ain't that true, uh, man? Uh, ring. Ring, Ring Fit is usually going to be on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, briefly. Um, also scattered throughout the week, just, you know, trying to find times to do all that. Friday is going to be Friday Funhouse, where I, I get liquored up and play games with my friends. Saturday is going to be The Witcher, Blood and Wine. We're getting through that awesome DLC. And Sunday is uh, D&D Homebrew stuff, where I make a lot of weapons and characters and subclasses. And I'm currently getting a couple of subclasses reviewed, and I might... Uh, end up making them, you know, just free publishing things on somewhere. I don't know. Yo, let me in on that. Yeah. Speaking of things that are okay, Zeta, where can they find you? Damn! No, that was a positive compliment. I'm saying he's okay. Yeah, he's alright. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm at my oh, average. Don't you. worry about it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you can find me over Damn! At the... <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. You can find me over at Twitch. Damn, boy! <laughs> Why do I just imagine a fucking rat coming out of the corner doing that as I'm trying to fucking make my goddamn <laughs> statement? Uh, <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Zeno, where we're doing homebrew stuff in indie game. Uh, I recently had just put out on DM's Guild the Great Cold Patron. So if you are desperately looking for an ice themed warlock, I got you covered. I'll post it in the chat. Uh, upcoming next for other homebrew stuff, uh, we're going in snake. The, it's gonna be snake themed. Lots of snakes happening. That's the next big thing. For those, why did it have to be snakes? For those wondering about why all the shades being thrown today, we're nearing the holidays and we're not gonna be able to talk to each other as often. So we're just trying <laughs> yeah, to get it all out of our system right now. Like I like you joke, but me and me and Bosco are gonna have a breakaway conversation where he just insults me for an hour just to get just <laughs> up his levels, get them all up, to make sure they're all good. Remember when the holidays were about being nice to each other? Guys, and where can they find you? What the fuck? Uh, when was that? <laughs> Not New York, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can find me at twitch.tv4 says guys and goomba. Uh, Mech Mondays was saying play around with Mech Warrior 5 more. Still sucks or not. Uh, Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, we play Taco no Tatsujin, where I get on gum, drums, gums, drums. Once I actually get a good switchboard that actually allows for a USB plug. Uh, otherwise, Saturday and Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central, we're going to be doing all the new Shovel Knight crap that came out. So, King of Cards, uh, the, the Smash-like, everything. All of them. Me. Bosco, where can they find you? <clears throat> they can find me at Bosco V on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Oh, that's awesome. What do you got going on this week, man? Uh, Wrestling. Yes, that is true. I like your pictures of cake. Thank you. You're welcome. Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow's going to be Skies of Arcadia. Heck, YouTube. I want to play video games. <laughs> the video games? That's good. That's good. Anything else happening this week? Uh, Sunday's going to be, uh, and then probably peppered throughout the week are going to be Pokemon, late night Pokemon shiny hunting streams. Hello. I can't believe you got all the shinies you got. I'm so fucking mad. I have a call. I know. One. I yeah. legitimately, like, my first one was, Ooh. I think, 300 eggs, and then my second one was 45 eggs. I have two, ja I have a Japanese and a Korean flapple. I, 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 I've been doing it for five days. Are you breeding those two together, or are you breeding an English one with one of those? No, I'm both of them together. No, you need you need one that's an English one and then one that's one of those. Wait, I thought it was any different country. No. no, it has to it has to be yours and then a different one. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Then I can still do that. That's still a thing. I'm better. You... It will take longer. Monty, yeah. do you have a sh do you have a shiny I gym? Do. thing? I have the shiny charm. Yep. Ah. Uh, I, uh, uh, I I yeah. I. When I played through the game, I made sure to catch everything that was new. So then at the end game, I would only need a couple things to just get that. So I could just start feeding my addiction. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, guys, you can find me right here. Tomorrow is the go-home show for the Christmas pay-per-view. We'll be fully announcing the name. Guys, that's, that's at 5 o'clock PST tomorrow. That's MNW. And I'm really excited because we're going to find out what's going on with the world title scene. Also this weekend, Destiny 2. season. The new season started up. That's going to be fun. And aside from that, let's all go back to doing what we're all secretly doing and not admitting, binge-watching The Simpsons secretly on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> hey, I mean, why not, right? Uh, is there anything... Actually, you know what? The art stream will be here as well this Friday at uh, 5 o'clock PST. 
And I actually, Monty, I think we need to plug again what we're doing next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, everyone's making ponies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pony. We're doing. My we're doing. Pony. We're doing a t Tales of Equestria one shot. Uh, My Little Pony game. Um, <laughs> I, it's a very, very simple system, and I can't wait for Kurt to not understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy. I'm just happy you're thinking about me. You know, that's just really. Yeah. That's really. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I legitimately was looking. I was thinking about it. Like this could be easy. I'm like, but Kurt's still playing, so probably not. <laughs> Kurt's still playing. Yeah. Here, here, I, I can trust him in the role play, but it's just everything else. I don't know, man. Man, I... Oh, cartoon horse program! Yes. Cartoon horse program! <laughs> yeah, cartoon horse program. Um, so next week we're gonna be doing ponies. The week after that is gonna be Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. So enjoy time with your friends or your family or both. Uh, be sure to 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 drink that eggnog and do other festive things. Um, and then we on the first on New Year's we're gonna be doing a probably a special one off. Uh, it's gonna be a completely unique one off. Um, of some manner, it's not going to be Unexpectables related. It's going to be something new because I know Zito wants to play in that. So. I can play! <laughs> Yay! Yay! So oh. fucking once! And then after that, we should be right back to Greckles being eaten, as always. As I want you to know, Gre I want you to know Gre Greckles is being eaten slowly for three weeks. Yep. Just slow. He's gonna, he is, he is so, there's so much shiving is going to happen. <laughs> I actually have a plan for this, so don't you worry Is it to me. be eaten? No, it's about to utilize a scroll that I haven't touched in three months of game. Or a out scroll of, of not being eaten. I'm going to laugh when it's your turn to eat shit and then not help you. Joke's on <laughs> you. I'm too big to eat. He says. Uh, with hey, the Tarrasque walks on in. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Hey, guys, am I late? <laughs> Someone I pointed just, out I, the I, only I, reason Greckles is being eaten all the time is because he tastes like chicken. And I... No, he's all gamey and gross. Hey, 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 hey Monty. Hi. Mo Monty, Monty, Hi. Monty. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you this. Here comes Karen Seathwood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Karen Seathwood, half elf. So you can't tell me I can't play it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. It's yeah. happening. <laughs> the whole campaign. You're just looking for whoever's in charge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find who's in charge to get to the bottom of this scenario. Uh, <laughs> Just meet, uh, like you meet like you meet like a paladin. Who's in charge? Oh my God, we'll get him out here. We'll get him out here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, guys, I think we're gonna raid none other than Honey Bunny Kagome tonight. Oh, okay. That? I was also gonna who's recommend that? Sir Malarvik. I was gonna raid Sir Malarvik as well. Uh, it's just I don't know who this other who's this other person. The other person is from MNW. That's why I was suggesting Sir Malarvik. Oh yeah, okay. I had Sir Malarvik up, but people have been suggesting a bunch of different people. But we're gonna raid Sir Malarvik, everybody. This is from all of us. A while. To you, we'll do proper Christmas goodbye Christmases uh, next week, but the holiday season. Is there anything else we'd like to plug before we uh, get going here? You better watch out. 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 A Milky Way. A Milky Way. A Milky Way. A Milky Way. A Milky Way.